in just short of a minute, uh, Fuga One's opening is like from from loading it up to the end of the song on the title screen is exactly a minute. It was perfect for streaming because it would let me have that moment to to get ready. This one's just short of it. Uh, hey, I'm here. It's early. It's 7 p.m. on Memorial Day in America, which is May. Well, it's last Monday of, of May. That's May 29th. Um, gonna be doing what I did with Tears of the Kingdom a couple weeks ago. I'm gonna be doing a long stream of multiple parts of this. Um, I, this came out the day before Zelda did, and I was looking forward to it just as much. Just haven't had time to, uh, really get to it. So, today's gonna be the start, and I don't know when I'll be able to get back to this after the start. Hey, Puppy Wuppy. Hey! How you both doing? I think I already set- I already booted this up before and set the options. I did not start it in any way, shape, or form. Um, the only thing you missed by me doing that was the notifications of what carries over by getting the best ending, which I did do in the previous game. Uh, anyway, this game is... combat. This game is a sequel to 2021's Fuga Melodies of Steel. Yeah, I know it's you. I know it's you. I've, I've been watching GVG. <laughs> I, I, knew your, I knew you had the name change. I didn't know if you wanted to be called that or not, though. But if you want me to still call you spicy, I will. Um, so what was I saying? So yeah, sequel to 2021's Fuga Melodies of Steel. This game takes place in the uh, the Little Tail Bronx series, which includes Tail Concerto on the PS1 and Salada Robo Red the Hunter on Nintendo DS, both of which, or all three of which, I have streamed at this point. So we're going to be starting two tonight. Again, don't know how often I'm going to be streaming this. I'm hoping to kind of marathon it over a couple days. Um, but this week, this is going to be the only one of these streams. It's probably going to be like two or three parts long. So anyway, if you missed the first game, there's a previous story recap option right here. We'll, we'll start with that right away. <laughs> Voices in this game are only in Japanese or French, so there's not going to be any English voice acting. So the kids, so the war-torn world, kids find a tank. And they, uh, and they set off. Six kids. They're fighting the Burman army, which are not subtly... They're, they're, they're Nazis. Not very subtle. It's not subtle at all. They're, they're pretty much furry Nazis. Um, along the way, they meet a bunch of kids that join their crew. And, uh, they have all sorts of fierce battles. I was gonna say wacky adventures, but this game is not wacky. <laughs> Didn't know until recently they speak French in universe. Yeah, um, Solada Robo really hammers that in. It's it's very much like the universe is like main language among the uh, two races are uh, are French. Brits, who was actually one of the child Burman soldiers who defects, his involvement pretty much directly affects the ending too. Is there much connection to Tail Concerto and Solata Robo? Yes and no. Um, there is a pretty big reveal at the end of the first game that connects it to those two games, specifically Solata Robo. But um, in terms of in terms of sto individual story and characters, no, this is pretty much separate from them. It's the same universe but separate. Yeah, the Bone Cigars. Before the release of Salada Robo, you want to start this real series real bad, I Fuga 1, but I haven't started. I definitely recommend it. As much as I would recommend doing Tail Concerto and Salada Robo first, Fuga 1 is also a great place to step in. Uh, for reasons, again. But it's entirely up to you. I would definitely give it a shot. They really should re-release them. Yes, they should. I agree. Cyber Connect 2 should release those re-release those games. It's difficult, though, because, again, they're doing these games without a publisher. They're they're self-publishing this, which is why it's digital only, and why it's so, ex like, it's expensive for them, because they're selling this at a loss. Tail Control has gone for over a thousand. Yeah, I got Salada Robo. I got a physical copy of it when it was, like, 80 bucks, and then, like, a year later, it jumped up to, like, 200, 300. 
I was like, oh, thank God I got that. So yeah, the kids, the kids' parents were um, were captured by the Burman Empire. They rescue them, they take down the, the head of the Burman Empire, and they reunite. And you know, everything's happy. They park the Tyrannus, which is the name of the tank, and supposedly everything's good for about one year. Apparently, the old games are in copyright hell because they're unable to name drop the Salada Robo cameo. Really? What? That's confused. That's interesting. I haven't heard that one before. Um, sorry, did I miss something here? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, so, again, uh, I mentioned this before, the, this vice president of CyberConnect2 is gonna be at Anthrocon in just over a month. There's gonna be a panel, and, uh, I will be going to that. I don't, people are like, bring Salado Robo from the sun. I'm like, he, I don't think he was working there when Salado Robo came out. He was a fan of the series, but he didn't start working for CC2 until, like, the mid, or mid-2010s. And Salada Robo was 2010, or 2011. When saving a save icon will appear, do not quit the game or turn the power off. Apparently you could get Salada Robo for 100. I think, like, a loose copy isn't that expensive, but, like, if you want the full package, especially the one in America that came with the CD, you're shelling out several hundred for it. Tail Concerto, I can't see. This is boxed, really? Wow. I would I would scoop that up if you're able to. Okay, we got mind control. UK mark is a different beast sometimes. Oh yeah, if it's localized for if it's the UK version. C'est pas possible. I've well that's okay, that's a little loud. I'm going to crank it down just a bit. The only thing I know about UK-based or, or, or European-based DS games is that the boxes are really thick compared to the American boxes. Like, the boxes are like like the size of like a DS and a 3DS box stacked on top of each other. Not that thick. Maybe a little lighter. It's like, it's like two 3DS boxes on top of each other. Yeah, you like them thick. No, it can't be true. Kuma? Yeah. How could this happen? I think this is a year later, I'm not sure. So already you can tell something's, something's off here. Tyrannus is on the enemy side with a bunch of brainwashed children. No! May! worth noting the tank that you see on the left there that the main characters are in is the tank is the enemy tank uh there's the tyrannus and then the bionis i can't remember no first time you saw a usa japan ds case you're like you i think they're fine i think they're small and compact i don't understand why the the, the european ones look tarascus that's it i don't know why the european ones are so thick like it's cool and all but like it seems unnecessary Sometime earlier. Pharaoh, central metropolis of Gasco. This was like where the end of the first game took place. Mm. Still sounds a little too loud. How far could the Tyrannus have gone? It's not like something that huge could stay hidden out of sight. Mm. You change them back starting with the 3DS games. Yeah, I think they went more unified. The select the switch boxes are all the same. Could say the same about this hunk of junk. Man, it feels like a bad dream being in here. Mm. I never would have imagined we'd be chasing the Tyrannus in a Burman tank. Okay, no replaying voice clips. Auto text, skip, PM. Le Tyrannus. Le char qui avait jadis accompagné et aidé les enfants à retrouver leur famille. C'est ce même char que les enfants poursuivaient à présent de toutes leurs forces. À bord du Tarascus. Le char ennemi qu'ils pensaient avoir détruit de leurs propres pattes. 
Isn't Berman a cat breed? Oh, probably. I mean, the Bermans are mostly... Well, actually, I don't know. I think there's some dog... There's dogs in the Berman Empire. But yeah, the, you know, the cat and dog puns are very, uh... Very numerous in this, uh, in the series. On purpose. Uh. Can't this thing go any faster? Trask is currently running self-repair protocol, so it's functionality is limited. That's the main bad guy from the first game. It's a pun on Doberman, yeah. Trail of tracks led by the tra threads on the Tyrannus Sand Main. So in the first game, I didn't read any voiced lines. I don't know if they're going to be more numerous here. But I figured it wasn't worth talking over the French voice acting. His voice still gives me the creeps. These child soldiers do best. How are there still Berman tanks in Gasco? They should have all crawled home with their tails between their legs ages ago. So why French? Was that a stylized choice? I think so. I don't think Tail Concerto really played into like a cultural identity that much. But when Salada Robo came out, I think they decided to have all the characters have like a French flair to them. It's it's interesting too, because like there's no real there's no real like indication that that it's 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 not even really like like a it's not even really like French culture. It's more like the, the language they speak is is French. That's it. Turn the tank that become a god or a devil. Yes, has to do with the food names. I bet possibly. <laughs> Don't waste time thinking about that now. Battle stations, everyone. Damn. They're firing on us. Oh, what is that thing? Oh, we got... Though its make is entirely different. What the heck is it? Hmm. I don't know what it is, but if we lose the Tyrannus... But we'll lose the Tyrannus if we don't send it packing. Let's do this. Show your enemies with the three gun turrets on the giant tank Tarascus. I'm sure this control's exactly the same. Trojan place the gun turret while attack with their skilled weapon type. Select grenade launcher. Well bounced for attack and recovery. Bastard Hund. Its attack is slightly high, so try not to get hit. Delay its action by attacking with the weapon it's weak against. It will use pack attack if with others of the same unit type. So be very careful. High attack but low accuracy. Takes time to load. Pack attack. Love that game. Dan, the main bad guy of the first game became the tank's new AI. Well, this is the tank that the bad guy used. Yes, this is a very child soldier heavy story. Again, Fuga 1, if you play Fuga 1 first, it makes a lot more sense what's happening here. The result, experience points items can be attained according to the outcome of battle. When battle quickly and avoid receiving damage and earn more experience points. Hmm. We managed to beat it. Everyone okay? Uh. Yeah, looks like the Tarascus pulled through for us. Uh. Looks just like the Tyrannus. It's, uh... Tarascus, le char conçu pour contrôler le Van Argand. Van Argand. Selon la mémoire, j'aurais dirigé sa construction durant une invasion de Gasco. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Reminds me of Gurren Lagann, having, uh, what's his name, Lord Genome, Lord Genome's head, piloting, like, the main ship at the end of the series. 
which I believe that I believe that's the official name for him is like Lord Genome Head is all like one word. Really weird. New caveats. I'm afraid are going to have consequences much later in the game. Yeah, I've been told. I've seen the trailers. Show me dozens of memes with this game that I cannot unhear. <laughs> I had to avoid watching any of that because I didn't want to spoil this. <laughs> you say it like you're talking about someone else. It was all your fat. F fat? It was all your fault, Hacks. Shoulder the blame. You're kind of like Jean back on the Tyrannus. I wish Sox was here. He'd be able to explain everything. Ugh. You got that right. We gotta hurry and catch up to them. You get to the sub every time his ranking spelled ass, for example. I think I only managed to have that happen like two or three times. It's very hard to get an A rank on the first one and an S rank on the other two. Will there be a drill that pierces the heavens? No, but there'll be plenty of cannons. Don't <sighs> worry. I don't get it. How did we even end up in this situation? Lord Genome here. Yeah. s'était écoulé depuis l'armistice conclu entre Gasco et l'Empire Berman. Years passed since the armistice. Nice. Les enfants qui, dans la douleur, avaient mené le pays à la victoire, menaient désormais une vie paisible. <laughs> For one year. Crack open a drink now. Really, I'm thirsty. Un beau jour, tous reçurent une lettre de l'armée de Gasco leur demandant de se rassembler à Pharao, la nouvelle capitale du pays. Twenty-four hours earlier, Pharao, central metropolis of Gasco. Residential, presidential residence pala, plaza. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, we're riding the demon tank. It's been a year since the fighting ended. Salia? Glad to see you're doing well. Ouais. Same goes for all of you. I wish Jin and Wappa could be here too. Au fait. Jin's got his hands full overseeing the factory he inherited. Yo. And Wappa's been out roaming the open road. No one could get a hold of her, it seems. Figures. Ouais. <laughs> that certainly sounds like what they'd be up to. <laughs> It's been forever, Sheena. How's your mom doing? I've been worried about her. Oui. Oh, she's doing much better now. Oui? Looks like Chicken Hack might be coming late. <laughs> I can't wait till everyone's here. <laughs> Tandis que les enfants fêtaient leur retrouvaille, le lieutenant Muscat de l'armée de Gasco apparut pour les remercier. Je vous remercie. We appreciate each of you coming along all this way. Excuse me. I hate to interrupt your reunion, but would you co mind coming with me? Huh? Oh, no problem at all. Lieutenant Muscat, was it? Oui. That's right. Sorry to get right to it, but there's something I'd like you to see. <laughs> Though I imagine it might not stir up the greatest of memories for you all. The good boy. They're all good boys and girls. Gonna have to head out to avoid spoilers, but all the best. Thank you so much, Spicy. I appreciate it. I'll see you around. Play the first game, <laughs> if you have time, after you finish Zelda. Boron? Yes, Boron is the best boy, though. Children followed Lieutenant Muscat to a large depot. Ta-ta. Have a great night. Is that the Tyrannus? present time. Come on. Another one? Everyone, battle stations! Uh. Roger that. This is the root progression screen. Various effects will occur when the Tarascus reaches an event waypoint. Battles occur at the waypoint. The number of battle number in the upper right represents the number of consecutive battles. Tarascus HP is recovered at this waypoint. There are other waypoints with various effects, so please check the help screen for more details. We didn't want to type this out again. Oh good, turbo mode's in this game from the start. So that was uh, added in, in an update after I'd finished the first Fuga. 
Additional costume. Sleepwear is now available for the children during intermission and expedition. You can change the costume from the main options. Set of repair items. Uh, great repair kit, great energy cell, relaxing incense, first aid kit, peace candy, times three. Prepevu our combat. Prepevu. The timeline at the top of the screen displays the action order. The icon under an enemy's HP designates its weakness. Attack with a weapon of the same color. Okay, so we're still- we're locked into- okay, we're absolutely locked into tutorial mode here. If you attack with weapons of the same color like this, the enemy's action order will be delayed. So if you look, like the enemy unit now moves back a bunch. But it- but it doesn't really matter, because both of them attack after Malt anyway. Weakness. So blue is machine gun, which has um, high accuracy but low attack. Yellow is middle of the road, it's the grenade launcher. And then red is, is the cannon, which has low accuracy but high attack. Uh, armor rank. Higher the rank, less damage is received. Defend, received damage is decreased. Effect disappears by taking an attack. Defend plus, I think, is new. Defending greatly decreases damage received. Effect disappears after taking an attack. So you have attack up, luck up, accuracy up. Great feeling. Increasing mood raises the amount of stars. Hero mode is attained with five stars. Hero mode, status change, different effects depending on the child. Each child has a different hero mode, like bonus, when they hit it. Uh, injury, status ailment, cannot be placed in gun turrets if injured. They must rest in the dormitory to recover. Fear, status ailment, accuracy is halved. They'll recover automatically after battle. Uh, accuracy down, knocked out. Uh, you have to rest, rest in the dormitory. Depression, cannot use their skills or link attacks. They must be comforted to recover. Speed up, wrath, uh, attack is increased to perform better in battle. Reinforcements, that's uh, enemy only. What they're do Yeah, this is enemy buffs right here. They call them more reinforcements. Enemy status change, evasion hit rate is increased, make it more difficult to hit. Enemy debuffs, uh, attack decrease, damage after an action, temporary stun. Bombs are new, hold on, what's this? Enemy status change, causes strong damage to an enemy after two turns. Causes strong damage to all enemies after two turns. Causes four to six armor rank decrease on an enemy after two turns. Okay, that's really good, because armor rank usually can only take down one uh, per hit, depending on what you hit it with. The tank is called the Tarascus, right? Yes. Armor rank is extremely important, because the more they have of that, the less damage they take, and it is a huge buff. So as soon as armor rank starts showing up, we want to prioritize lowering that. Aerial enemies have high evasion rate. Weapons with high accuracy are effective against these enemies. Let's switch placements on the formation screen. Here you see the abilities of each of the children placed at the three gun turrets. This information about the top gun turret, the cursor is placed in the attacker position. Weapon attribute effects and damage depend on the abilities of the attacker. Let's switch chick who is currently selected with another child. Press A. Icon above each child's head represents their weapon, so each child only has one weapon. They're either the machine gun, the grenade launcher, or the cannon. Select Kyle and press the A button. Okay. Like this, the gun turret's attacker have been switched to Kyle. The machine gun used by Kyle has high accuracy and is effective against aerial enemies. Now let's switch Sheena with hack. Select Sheena with the cursor and press A. Now the two children are with machine guns and one with a cannon. While switching placements on the formation screen, you can press R any time to check the enemy description. You can do not do that in the first game. Very helpful. Let's exit the formation screen. Formation will be locked for three turns. Um, worth noting too, they don't. I guess they don't really go into it right now. But whoever's in the back uh, provides a support effect for whoever's in the front, and also increases their stats. Let's attack the enemy, aerial enemy with the machine gun. Celtic mythology Tyrannus, Proto Celtic Tyrannos, earlier Tornaros, Latin Tyrannus, either earlier Tornaris, is the god of thunder who was worshipped primarily in Gaul, Hispania, Britain, and Ireland, but also in Rhineland and Danube regions, among others. Tarascus is the king of Nemedia. 
He gained the throne by killing his older brother, the former king of Nemedia, with the help of the ancient wizard Zaltotun. They raised Zaltotun from the dead by using the heart of Ahriman. Once crowned, Tarascus immediately declared the truce between Nemedia and Aquilona void, Aquilonia void, and started gathering the army to invade the kingdom to the south. He wanted to dethrone Conan, the current king of Aquilonia, in order to crown Valerius king of Aquilonia. Crown Valerius, the new king of Aquilonia. Hmm. Missed. Such is battle. Oh, I got some HP back for doing that. Showing some sass here. Thanks, Hacks. Wow, that's a line you never think you'd see. Mm. Kind of feels weird to thank him like that. Mm. You're not wrong, it's just, well... We need to rely on this tank if we're ever going to catch up to the Tyrannus. Oui. Exactly. <laughs> that's right, we have to stop the Tyrannus, no matter what. Twenty-three hours earlier. Oh, we're slowly coming in now. Giant Depot, Pharaoh. Huh? Why is the Tyrannus here? Mm. I never thought I'd see it again. Mm. It looks like it's primed and ready to get right back into the thick of things. Ah. Wow, I almost forgot how big it is. You look good. It's huge. Ah. It certainly looks a little less beat up than it did a year ago. Seven. Like it removed the scratches on its hull all on its own. What a strange tank. Ils étaient face au Taranis, le char géant à bord duquel ils avaient combattu autrefois. So did they recover it and they just like cleaned it off because it was like they parked it and left it in where they found it at the end of the first game. L'imposante structure était habillée d'échafaudage, laissant deviner que des recherches étaient en cours. Can't wait to see the new dilemma the children be forced with. Oh, well, I mean. <sighs> We are, we, you, I mean, well, you'll see if you, if you miss the beginning. As you can see, we've launched a thorough inspection of the Tyrannus, but the door is sealed tight and we can't get in. Yeah. Do you have any idea why that might be? Mm. I don't think any of us even knew it could be locked. Bremo? That's right. I don't think anyone besides us has ever been inside the Tyrannus. Oh, I love his little suit now. His little, like, like professor uniform. Mm. It's cute. They all have, like, a slightly more mature edge to them now, which, I mean, after the events of the first game, I don't blame them all for aging, like, six years, even though it's only been a year. Let me take a look. Huh? huh? What was that sound? <gasps> I, uh, guess it's open now. Cool. Malt is the oldest of the crew, and I think he's only 14 as of this game. Or maybe he was 14 in the last game, he's 15 now, I'm not sure. The youngest is, like, like, six or seven. So yeah, these are actual child soldiers in the most literal sense of the term. I see. Perhaps the Tyrannus only allows entry to those it deems worthy. Don't do Malt's job for him. Now that the door is open, we could finally continue our inspection within the vehicle. Ampheliniko a l'air distingué, et une jeune demoiselle qui semblait être sa fille s'approchèrent. Appeared to be father and daughter. Feline Echo. The visage of the man was covered with bandages. Tandis que la jeune fille se tenait derrière lui, l'air anxieuse. Hmm. So we can finally survey the interior, can we, Canel? Or I mean, Lieutenant Muscat. Oui. Children were forced to grow, yeah. Indeed, thanks to the children paying us a visit. Ikte. Allow me to introduce you all. This is President Shane Muscat, my father. Huh? Wait, you're the president's daughter? I had no idea. <laughs> I suppose I never mentioned it, <laughs> and this is my sister, Vanilla. Merci. Allow me to offer my heartfelt gratitude for making the long journey here. Thank you, one and all. Vanilla. Come now, Vanilla. Introduce yourself. Um, okay. I'm Vanilla. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> nice to meet you too. I'm Malt, and this is my sister, May. <laughs> Hiya, I'm May. I'm Hannah. Malt and I are from both from Petite Mona. Nice to meet you, Vanilla. Any message? Hold on. So 
Sorry, just a moment. Vanilla malt subtle, yeah. They're all named after food, aren't they? No, they're not. Their last names are all food, I think. Sorry, just a moment. Oh, I thought I muted my mic. What'd I hit? Uh, nothing, I guess. I must have hit nothing. And thought I did. That's a real glue brain moment. <laughs> Pleased to meet you both, Hannah and May. Hmm. Well, I don't want to get in the way any more than I have. Back to my duties. Are you staying, Vanilla? Oui. Yes, Father. Entendue. All right, then. I leave her in your hands, Lieutenant. Oui. Understood. D'un léger hochement de tête, le Président tira sa révérence, sans lâcher des yeux le Taranis. Anna, May, Boron, Sox et Brits étaient déjà à l'intérieur du char, et s'apprêtaient à l'explorer. Malte, Kyle et Shina, quant à eux, répondaient aux questions du Lieutenant Muska, quand Chick et Hack arrivèrent un peu en retard. Uh -oh. And those are the those are the five we have in the tank right now. Mark. Sorry for showing up late. Long time no see, everyone. Wow, oh, the Tyrannus. Are you all right? Are you are you taking him for jo joyride? Huh? What? No, no. C'est alors qu'un phénomène inexplicable se produisit. Toutes les portes du Tyrannus se refermèrent soudainement en même temps. Quoi? Uh, uh, Lieutenant Muscat, we can't open the doors! Huh? Is anyone in there besides the children? Huh. No, we were readying the equipment. Only the children are inside. Alors que tout le monde s'agitait à l'extérieur du Taranis, les armes de celui-ci commencèrent à s'activer. When you refresh your French, you follow like half the dialogue. I learned Spanish and Japanese in high school, and I've pretty much forgotten 90% of it all. I never took a language in college, except for one... One semester of Italian, which I failed because I just couldn't, I couldn't, like, I, I was, I had too much Spanish in my head and I couldn't, like, follow the intricacies of Italian. Sucks. Tous les canons du char étaient à présent rivés sur les portes du hangar qui lui faisaient face. This is bad. Quickly, everyone get away from the Tyrannus. Au moment où elle prononça ces mots, les armes firent feu. Is Duolingo a good idea or something else? To be honest, I don't really use Duolingo. Uh, Nessie uses it for Japanese, and I don't know. Like, I, I haven't really quizzed her on her Japanese, and I wouldn't really know how. But uh, people say it's good. People are keeping up with it. I personally think that its teaching system is a little weird. I don't think it really drills in individual lessons that well from the start. It just kind of resorts. It just kind of res like resorts on quizzing you constantly. And I guess that can work, but I think, um, I don't know. It feels a little less involved than in an actual language class. Anyway, hey, the cannon's firing. Those kids are absolutely not all right. Les portes du hangar voletèrent dans un bruit assourdissant, tandis qu'une partie des murs et du plafond commençaient à s'effondrer. Oh lord, he rolling. Tirant une nouvelle salve, le Taranis se mit lentement en marche et sortit du hangar. I didn't do a pre-stream ramble today. There was no point. Il subit son assaut sur les bâtiments et chars de l'armée de Gasco postés à l'extérieur, engloutissant les alentours dans une mer de feu. Oh, those, uh, those screams don't sound too good. <sighs> Sheena, where's everybody else? The tank roar? Did it? I didn't... 
We're on the Tyrannus. May. Everyone. No. no! Father! Les cris déchirants de Vanilla résonnaient dans les décombres du hangar. Elle fixait du regard la résidence présidentielle où son père exerçait ses fonctions. Après oh my god. Father, his office. Is he really in there? No. How could this have happened? I'll mobilize a unit to search for the president. Malt, you and the others get Vanilla somewhere safe. Understood. Come on, Vanilla, follow us. Okay. Les enfants prirent refuge dans un autre hangar de l'armée, hors de portée des flammes. Après avoir repris leur souffle, ils tentèrent de faire le point sur la situation et de décider quoi faire. Is everyone all right? Anyone hurt? Oui. I think we're okay. We need to hurry and chase after the Tyrannus. And the other, Hannah and the others are still inside. Uh... Right. But how are we supposed to catch up to it? Uh, mm. the this can't be. Father, I'm not letting this happen to you. Uh. Vanilla, are you okay? No, she's not. Uh... You want to follow that tank, don't you? Oui. Um, yeah, that's right. If we had a way to chase after it, we'd set out right away, but... Uh, yeah. Leave that to me. I think I might know a way. I should know where this was. Cool. This sounds like a song from uh, Salada Robo. No way. Is this pas vrai. the Tarascus? Les hangars où les avait menés Vanilla abritaient le Tarascus, la machine de cauchemar qu'il pensait avoir anéanti autrefois. Les enfants, incrédules, ne savaient comment réagir. Why is the Tarascus here? I thought we destroyed this hunk of junk. The wreckage was gathered for further study, and before long it had fully repaired itself. At least that's what my father in the military said. I think it might even be fully operational again. I see. Well, the army's got its hands full at the moment, and I don't see anyone else around. Hey, you sure about this? I am. We have to stop the Tyrannus and save everyone. You're right. I'm going to. Alonzi. Me too. Ouais. Me three. All right, move out. Déterminés, les enfants se hâtèrent vers le Tarascus. Déterminés. Mais furent stoppés dans leur élan par la voix de Vanilla. But please take me with you. No. It's probably better you stay here. We're setting out to do something really dangerous. Mm. Apologies. Apologize to Lieutenant Muscat for us for using the Tarascus without permission, would you? Entendu. Very well. Be careful out there. Merci. I thought she was going to be a lot more forceful, given her appearance. Don't worry, we will. She's going to sneak aboard, I bet. Incredible, it's set up almost exactly like the Tyrannus. We should be able to make do with this. And it looks like it's ready to go. Alright, everyone, after the Tyrannus. No argument, talk about Battle Forged, yeah. Les échafaudages autour de Tarascus s'effondrèrent avec vacarme, avant d'être réduits en miettes par les griffes d'acier de la machine. Le Tarascus et les enfants s'élancèrent alors à travers la mer de flammes. And that was 23 hours ago? Jesus. Alanzi, yeah. Alanzi. Present time. Mm. I know the Tarascus isn't running at full capacity yet, but we'll never catch up to the Tyrannus if we don't get a move on now. Please stay safe, everyone. Advance. Oh, I have turbo mode enabled. <laughs> See, I didn't think this game was that slow. Like, normal mode on this this game's normal speed is definitely quicker than the first game's. I don't really see need to uh, rely on turbo mode here. This is the enemy's armor rank, which represents the defensive power. The enemy has a high armor rank, which makes it difficult to damage, so let's use Kyle's skill. It's like piercing shot from the skills command. This skill lowers the enemy's armor rank by one. Costs one SP. SP shared between the whole party. Formation we still can't use. It counts, uh... It goes... The, the three turn limit counts between battles. Bladdersturm. Reduces damage with its heavy armor. Lowering its armor rank with a machine gun skills like piercing shot. 
Increase your accuracy when it's burrowed in the ground or it'll be hard to hit. So yeah, the armor rank means a lot. The armor rank d d dampens a ton of damage. Yeah, Bladderstorm. Blatter Blatterstorm, I think is what it's actually, because it had that umlaut over the A. Are, are. In exchange for consuming SP, you can gain the upper hand in battle by using skills as well. So give it a shot. SP can be recovered at recovery waypoints along the route and also by clearing chapters and using recovery items. I think it's the French version of order, order, yeah. I guess that's a French phrase as well, yeah. Are you playing with the French doggies? Yes, I am. Hey, Nessie. Doggies and caddies. Kitties. Caddies. Heroic strike. Two attack. Two hit attack on the enemy. Okay, they're letting me loose now. See, like, that was like half damage compared to what I would normally do. Hey, you. Hey, me. Sa. Oh my god, you know something? All these French doggies are not and not a poodle in sight. <laughs> bang bang. With all these missiles, it's just raining cats and dogs. Okay, so that's a dual heal point. Uh, item. Rusty breach times two. And combat. Uh, okay. Once you start getting the more advanced skills, you start running out of SP, like, really quickly. It becomes a very different beast at that point. Preparation of Burrow Underground. Wait. Probably should have switched out, but I didn't. Probably should have taken one of them out, and I'm gonna save myself a couple hundred da damage there. <laughs> Suck at a boo. Hey, V4. How you doing? Savante. Wow, the furry World War One DLC looks great. Bubus. Beepus. I've been good. How have you been? Yeah, it's it's uh, given that the, there's direct correlation to Nazism in this, I would say it's more World War Two. <laughs> I do kind of wish that Turbo was a toggle or was a was a hold instead of a a toggle, because you got to hit the button multiple times to get back. Tarascus looks just like the Tyrannus, right, Malt? Guess that's why driving it's like slipping back into a warm glove. Surprised it still works after we destroyed it a year ago. Mm. We better run a check to see which parts are fully operational. This is where you can upgrade the tank and interact with the children. As you progress with the story, various facilities and functions can be expanded. Hey. Yes, yeah, so all of this is happening on a floating continent. Hack, go explore the Tarascus a bit for us. Oh. Gucci, working and doing chores tomorrow's your day off, so you're doing all the things today. Nice. So you got a, a holiday and a day off tomorrow? 
I just, this is the end of my weekend, unfortunately. It's back to work for me tomorrow. Ugh, God, I don't want to think about work. Really don't. I hate it so much. Me? I mean, sure, yeah, I could do that. Select hack from the character switch screen. Just your regular day off, yeah. That's more rare. Control hack to explore this interior of the Tarascus. Don't think about work. Think about all the fun we'll have in VR soon. Yeah. But I mean, work is tomorrow, and VR is, is way off. It seems we have a rod we might use for scrap fishing as well. Mm. Peculiar, don't you think? A frightening instrument of war with a room for a fishing spot? By scrap fishing, you can obtain various materials to upgrade the Tarasca's weapon and HP and SP in the workshop. Uh, still can't actually do it, though. This is tutorial mode, because we're not losing AP. Mm. Workshop looks basically the same as the one in Tyrannus. With the right materials, I bet we could fix this baby right up. Can upgrade the Tarasca's weapon, HP, and SP, and more by collecting the necessary materials, so the layout's exactly the same as the previous game's tank. Kitchen looks good and ready to go, too. If we need some cooking done, you know which girl's the one. Uh. The one to cook up something awful, maybe. Hey, I can tell you're thinking something mean, you know? Making meals with gathered ingredients and eating together children's abilities and resistances will increase temporarily. Mm. So what's the verdict on Tarascus? Uh. This thing's so much like the Tyrannus, it's almost scary. I'm not scared of nothing, though, just so you know. <laughs> uh-huh, I bet. Select malt from the character switch screen. Jamon the Kuf. Jamon the Kuf. Since the character in control gets the most experience, try switching them as needed. The intermission will now conclude. Wait, really? Oh, I didn't even get to do, like, the ex exploration bit. In the original game, they let you at least, like, play that one out. <laughs> that was a plus uh, refill. Go, yeah. So if, if this is anything like the first game, uh, yeah, if it's anything like the first game, uh, this isn't going to go well and we're going to end up redoing it. For story reasons, rather. They're saying, ah, there. This, uh, fun fact, Fuga 1, when I got up to this point in the tutorial, uh, and I got to the part where, uh, well, you'll see. But, but I had a game freeze during it, and they actually ended up patching it because I reported it. And the children had the Tyrannus within their sights. La tension s'emparait des enfants tandis qu'ils se rapprochaient du char. Hey. What should we do if we just keep chasing them? This will never end. Oui. For now, let's just worry, on, worry about closing the distance. So much for that. Comment? It's doing what now? Eh. Maybe they don't know what it's. Maybe they don't know that it's us in here. Mm. We don't even know if Hannah and the others are controlling it at this point. Oui. Yeah, maybe they're just trapped in the Tyrannus. That must be it. There's no way Hannah and the others would ever do anything like this. Can't be here for more than like a second. Oh my god, this game isn't fantastic. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Boomsday. I appreciate that. Mel it's good to see you again. And yes, I'm I'm going to enjoy it immensely. Do not worry. And then who the hell is controlling this damn thing? If anyone to check on the AC, the vice president's gonna be at the gonna be doing a panel at AC for it. I'll go. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm absolutely going. I will let you know if anything interesting comes out of that. I'm sure it's just gonna be you know basic Q and A, but it's still cool. No way, are they really firing on us? What should we do? Cool. What? <laughs> it's Hannah and the others. Yeah, but I sense something wrong with them. Like they're not themselves. Uh oh. Hold on, did May just disappear? 
Here we're doing a little tell Bronx in a nutshell, just a Fuga in a nutshell panel at ACFI. It's like I suppose a series to a wider audience. Oh, that would be awesome. If that if if they do recording panels, I would love to watch that. Okay, that function totally existed in the first game. No, it didn't. Huh? Cool, cool. What the heck does that mean? Goes well, you bring it to TFF too. Oh, nice. I'm going to try to see if I could go to TFF next year. And FWA. I don't know if I'll do that again. I'll have to see. But uh, T going back to TFF next year is definitely something I'm looking into alongside uh, MFF and MAGFest. That's a lot of trips very in very short succession, though. I have to be very careful about what I want to do there. Mm. I didn't realize that Tyrannus could do anything you didn't already know about. Oh no. She's in the chair. Huh? Look, it's May. Where is she? Could that be? C cool? The soul cannon chamber? May! Now that's a hot seat. <laughs> oh, it's. You'll, you'll see how hot it gets. May? May! No, what should we do? Thought we could stall the Tyrannus by attacking it, but I didn't realize May would be in the Soul Cannon Chamber. I think money to survive is more important than tons of mascot costumes in a hotel, yeah. I mean, it's not even the fact that I couldn't do it, it's just having that much time off in consecutive months and spending that much money that quickly probably isn't a smart idea, even if I then stayed home. Like, the entirety of, like, March, April, May, June, until Anthrocon. I don't know, I'll have to see what my, I'll have to see what my, my funds are looking like. <sighs> If we engage in combat, it might fire the soul cannon. We can't fight against it. I mean, the worst case scenario, I'll have to drop MAGFest, which apparently... I really want to do MAGFest. I really want to do MAGFest because everyone says it's great, but if I have to drop one, it's going to be that one. Because it's in the middle of MFF and TFF. Proceeding with soul cannon firing sequence. Cool. No, is it really going to fire the soul cannon? Also, the Tyrannus has a new voice, because John, John is no longer in it. What should we do? It's going to fire! We can't just attack it. Everyone's in there. It's no use. We can't just, we just can't attack. Everybody on defense! Select and defend will reduce damage for one time until their next turn. Oh, it actually shows you what character. Hello, Jean. Hello, John Tyrannus. I don't want anyone to get hurt, but if we don't fire on the maze going new. I just noticed that HP bar has like dots in the middle of it. That's a new. That's something new. Oh, they're really. If we attack, then we risk injuring Anna and the others. Damn it, what should we do? Not a shot. We can't stop the soul cannon! Managarm? What's that? Is that the giant cannon on the side of the Tarascus? Cool. Don't fire. All our friends are still aboard the Tyrannus. Don't melt too many puppies. I, I'll try not to. My intention is to do the gold ending on one go. I'm not I'm not doing this like six times like Sean, Sean does. His, his stream of the first game was ridiculously long because he did like every possible ending. Will suffer extensive damage if I do not launch a preemptive attack. I think he's really gonna fire on them. Is this our only option left to protect everyone? Do we really have to resort to this? 
way. Use Mirror Force. The Monogam is Tarasca's devastating ultimate weapon. It can only be used once every battle. The child you select will temporarily knocked out due to a small amount of their energy being used. So it's like a weaker version of the Soul Cannon. It's still extremely powerful, but it's going to knock someone out until the next intermission when used. So you have to be very careful with it. That said, the Soul Cannon is still here, and now it's a forced option. If you run low on HP, I think it just automatically makes you forces you to fire it. Use the Monogarm a lot, the kids will die. No. It just knocks them out, and it makes them unusable until the next intermission. Taraskus looks like the White House from a distance in that shot. And they all died. The end. This can't be happening. Huh? Wait, where am I? Oof.mp3. Uh. Am I dead? Mm. May. That's right. What happened to everyone? <laughs> oh no, do we have a pretty boy character? Uh-oh. They're not here as a matter of course. Surely you don't wish for them to meet their end thusly. Huh? Who are you? Mm. I'm amazed that someone like you could enter this place. You seem to have abilities not unlike those of Jean. Huh? Yeah, that might be a Tumblr sexy man. You know Jean? Tell me who you are. Via. It would appear that you've reached an untimely end, a most undesired fate indeed. To alter your fate, you will need to make another choice. Malt has been endowed with a mysterious ability that will allow him to rewind time and alter the outcome of battle. To use this, select retry from before last intermission from the menu. Oh, right. No, it was like this in the previous game, too. You were forced to the, the last intermission. Yeah, all subsequent progress will be lost. Cool. What the heck is going on? Is this real, or am I dreaming? <laughs> Consider this a dream if you'd must. I'd rather refrain from explaining the finer details. Now then, go forth and triumph, otherwise... <laughs> this will become your reality. See, in the previous game, Jean just did this automatically. Not automatically, but Jean was the one who handled this. It was more like the entire game was kind of like a, uh like a simulation of, how, of, of the outcomes she saw. Whereas in this game now, apparently Malt can just do this himself. Really weird. Time has turned back for the children. You are now just before the last intermission you played. Now let's retry this intermission. Dummy energy. Instead of using the child, a fake life source can be used as the energy source of the monogarm. Can be selected from the monogarm in battle. That's a, that's a pre-order bonus. Or, or a uh, carryover data bonus. What's the big deal zoning out like that, Malt? Can you blame him? We're all pretty worn out. Uh, not me, I'm not tired one bit. Uh, oh, really? Then why were you dozing off a second ago? Uh, hey, come on, Tattletail. Uh, you're all alive? Uh, they... Should we not be? Man, I know you're tired, but pull it together. We almost caught up to the Tyrannus. Uh? <laughs> Soul Cannon? Monogarm? What are you talking about, Malt? It's 20 minutes ago. Wake up, we gotta get the Tyrannus. Just got dinner. Nice. Gourmet prime meat. Mm. The Tyrannus. We fought the Tyrannus and lost. May. May was fired from the Soul Cannon. Mm. No, I don't remember much else, but I won't let any of it happen again. It is... This This is so much more depressing in the first game. <laughs> this tutorial. 
We have to save May and the others this time. Let's prepare as best as we can. None of the other children, save for Malt, will be aware that they've gone back in time. Experience gained in battle before the time slip will also be lost. However, raising the child's affinity and upgrading the Tarascus during the intermission phase will offer greater chances to claim victory in battle and avoid beating a tragic end. Uh. Malt, if there's something on your mind, I'm all ears. Merci. I appreciate it, Kyle. Increase the affinity by two children, between two children, by talking to them. Use Malt to talk to Kyle. Qu'est-ce qu'il? I don't even want to think about the Tyrannus going crazy. Let's just catch the thing. Character animations here remind me of Bravely Default. Kind of the same proportions. Level 1 to level 2. Increases attack, increases damage against aerial enemies. A link event can be triggered. Malt and Kyle's affinity has increased level 2. Children's support effects from battle will increase along with their affinity. The icon will appear every time their affinity level reaches a certain point. This is your chance to trigger a link event. Talk to Kyle with the character whose icon is displayed. Malt. The return of the theater. All we can do for now is stand and fight, Kyle. Kill? Whoa, now, where's this coming from? I'm here, aren't I? Why? The army poured over this tank, but no one could get it up and running. Mm. For some reason, we're the only ones who can. That much I know. Cool. Still not seeing what you're getting at here. <sighs> I'm worried that there maybe we're too accustomed to all this fighting. Uh. I mean, we did fight in the war and all, Man. and literally end it. I'm not worried that we got it good at it. I'm worried that we've almost stopped questioning it. Mm. Don't know about that. Maybe you're just stressed out. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Not it. Kiss Kiza. They have running animations now. Apparently the enemies were told they only need a few animations but made unique ones anyway. Oh, nice. Link events occur when the children's affinity level 2 above or talk to each other. When link event is triggered, the affinity between the children will increase and their link attacks will become available in battle. Mm. Doesn't seem like any more enemies around, so let's check out the Tarascus a bit more. Talk to the children using the f facilities will consume, or using the facilities will consume action points, AP. Many of AP available is during the intermissions displayed in the top left of the screen. Make good use of limited time to strengthen both the children and the Tarascus. Workshop menu. You can strengthen the Tarascus weapons and armor from the upgrade command. Though facility ex through facility expansion, you can increase the functionality of the workshop and access more advanced upgrades. Eclair. Each ability of the Tarascus can be improved through upgrades. Select the area to upgrade from this menu. Specific materials are needed for upgrades. Obtain these materials by defeating enemies in battle by scrap fishing. So you could raise the attack power of the machine gun, grenade launcher, cannon. You could raise your HP. Reactor raises SP. That's not what it was in the first game, right? Something else. Not a very high success rate for any of this. I don't think this is worth it at the moment. Blueprints, 5. Rough Tools, 5. Iron Scrap, 5. Access higher level. You could get up to level 5 then. Well, we're only level 1, so it's not really necessary right now. You can't fail anything, actually? Wait, what? Pain. Scrap fishing menu, using a fishing rod to snag various items on the ground, expand the facility to increase the functionality of fishing stand, and access higher difficulty, or bread and fench, yeah. If pain, if bread and French is pain, then I own a fucking bakery! First select the fishing line and the difficulty. The higher difficulty, more items you contain, you will need to expand the fishing stand first. Using higher fishing lines increases the number of materials you obtain. No chances to fail, instead there are chances to use less resources. Oh. However, higher level fishing lines can only be used once. Be careful when you use it. Level 1 lines will never break. Wait. <laughs> success. Oh, high success rate. Interesting. Two unknown trinkets, a rusty bar barrel, and two used energies. Yeah, they do have running. Can we use the, uh... Oh, you can't. Okay. We can't use the, uh... Things yet. The images somehow got cuter. Yeah. Master menu. Cooking meals in the mess room while children will receive temporary meal effects. Expand the facility to increase the mess room access. Make more sophisticated meals. Gas bottle, rough tools, iron scrap. 
Press select by increasing the thing you want. This game loves to crush your heart, yeah. Each meal will always give temporary effects. Choose the appropriate meal according to the enemies with strong or devastating attacks. Meal effects last until the next intermission. Since all the children eat together, these effects are always attributed to everyone. So we got Apple Strudel increases experience and affinity by 15%. Carrot Sal decreases skill cost by 1. Mashed Potato increases critical rate by 10%. And Steak Tartare, which increases attack by 15%. I was just talking about Steak Tartare with my mother earlier today. That's so weird that that shows up now. By the way, that's raw, that's raw meat. <laughs> there, there's literally no cooking involved in that. All right, well, we pretty much have time to do everything here. The city of Pharaoh might have gone up in a sea of flames, but I hope its people survived. I hope I was mistaken, but I sensed hatred welling in the Tyrannus. Chance to deepen your bond, so if you pick the right option, it like automatically levels them up. I'm more capable with my spells now that I've gotten more attuned to the no-no. Show me. That's scary. Does it feel different? Yes, the no-no responds to my voice. Yeah, she. you, you have to know their personalities. She's very reserved about her magic, so being more concerned rather than telling her to show it off would be the right choice. Covers SP with normal attacks. A link event can be triggered. Salia? Did your mother teach you how to use those spells? Sebre. She did. Our family has long been adept at spells. I was able to control the no-no without much training. That's a concept that comes up a few times over the series. Mostly in Fuga One and Salada Robo. She's not saying she did. She did an oopsie. It's it's like a it's like a, a mana source almost. Mm. Which I guess, I guess that's kind of the the reference. Yeah, this no no thing is where spe spells get their power, right? People have to train to use it. Mm. My better understanding is learning to converse with the no no. Yeah, it's hockey. It's mana. It's literally mana with one letter up from the first two uh, two. Uh, it's it's the consonants. No, actually, mana, mana has an N in it. Never mind. <laughs> I'm like thinking it's just a play on the word mana, honestly, because it's it sounds the same. Uh... I'm also doing a dumb. I didn't know how to language there for a moment. It seems my mother and I learned to communicate without it with it without much prior training. Mm. Are there lots of people who can use spells? Never saw anyone who could around petite Mona. Mm. There are reasons that may be so. Uh... In regions without many spell wielders, some come to despise our very presence. <laughs> That's awful. Mm. I understand why they might feel certain ways about people who could do things they can't, though. <sighs> but yes, because of this, many of us live in hiding, finding communities of those like ourselves. Mm. I never knew. Malt and Sheena's Link Attack acquired. Yeah, getting everyone's level 2 affinity is recommended with each other, just because the more of those you do, the more Link Attacks you'll have, and it's definitely worth having those like, as soon as possible. So that way, if you have to change your party formation, you'll still have access to them. Fario. How to relax while you're riding around in the bad guy's tank. Doko? Something... Uh, I missed it. Whatever. It's all flavor text. Eh, eh. <laughs> Did good luck bring us all back together here, or bad luck? The ghost brought us here. We're off on a dangerous adventure. At least we're together. I'm only here because everyone else is. Delays enemies even further. Ooh, that's a nice one. Walt leveled up. That jacket's so cool. It's a Gasco Army one, right? Yeah. I got it from Lieutenant Muscat after the war. She made a big deal about it being some sign of appreciation. Whoa. That's awesome! You're like the hero of Gasco now! <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Plus, if I'm a hero, that means all of you are too. <sighs> I don't know. I think you're our leader because everyone knows you're the real deal. <laughs> I'm just the leader because I'm the oldest. Mm. All of you work and fight just as hard as me. We've been through lots together. <laughs> True. I guess you and me are war buddies then. Yeah, child soldiers. 
I wish I had more uh, cotton candy ice cream. <laughs> Wee? You need to settle down. That's what Hannah would say. Is this game using the same font from Fire Emblem and Smash Bros. Melee? So I see it in every RPG. Yeah, it's a very commonly used uh, professional font. I think the city of Pharaoh is alright. Chance to deepen your bond. Isn't Hack scary? Not the same bad guys before. Are you scaredy cat? A little, yeah. Right? But I feel bad for him, too. That wasn't enough. Damn it. I wouldn't feel bad for him. He was literally Hitler. My dream is to be strong and kind, just like Hannah. I mean, thankfully, when you level up, it doesn't cut off the, the points, so she's just closer now to level 2, but I also have to waste an extra AP. Yeah, I, I saw him pop up in the in the corner there. I know I know exactly what he's doing today, because apparently there's a secret. There's two secret videos in this game, as opposed to the first game, which just had the one for like 100%ing it. This game is two, and one of them requires a uh, a no survivors ending. Who? That sounds rough. I hope someone actually uploads it this time, so I could watch it after I finish the game. Because no one did that with the first one. It's been a whole year since we saw each other. Do I still look the same? Wait. I guess you look a little more mature. Genial. Really? Like how? Tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah. Maybe it's the longer hair? It looks good on you. <laughs> I knew you'd noticed. You always kept an eye on me. Of course I did. Since I'm the oldest, I have to look out for everyone. <sighs> but I bet you forgot you were supposed to invite me out to Petite Mona. Huh? Oh, shoot. I did promise that, didn't I? Sorry. <sighs> Breaking promise is a big no-no, just like the thing that lets me use magic. You better not forget next time. Dizzle. I'll make it up to you, I swear. Oui. Don't worry, I can't be mad after all those nice things you said. It's worth noting that when I played Fuga 1, a lot of the earlier parts were less than three hours long. So this being like a full night of this might get me farther through this than uh, I think I'm thinking it will. Okay, I think that's everyone at level 2 now, right? With Malt. So I probably can't pull it off with another character, but let's uh, let's start getting Kyle up there, too. Actually, can I upgrade something? Yes, I can. Oh, I can upgrade all of these. Mm, maybe I better do that first. Machine gun is definitely worth leveling up, just because the damage for it is pretty low. Okay. Comrade might come to assist task during the intermission. When a comrade comes to assist, the high success rate of the task will increase. The higher the affinity, the more likely a comrade will come to assist. Let's raise their affinity through conversation and other activities. So Ramal looks like a kimono version of Oliver Twist. I'm waiting for him to sing Where is the Love? <laughs> They're all made with a very rustic design behind them. You know what? Let's go for it. All right, cool. All of them are upgraded. Armor we have enough for, but we don't have enough AP left to do it. Uh, can I cook something? No, that takes three AP. No, no, it's where is love? It's the what I want song from the musical. Did I not? Did I not say that? I've been doing that a lot, where I keep thinking I'm saying one thing that I'm reading and I'm misreading it. Okay. You said, where is the love? Oh. It's because I'm talking too fast. Uh, okay. Well, no matter what I do, we can't really get rank up here. So I'm going to have Hack and Chick talk to each other. The, the twins. I'm going to do my best as best. I'm a big sister after all. Oh, they already had partial affinity. Oh, that's perfect. Wow, I didn't even know that was going to happen. I, I picked a correct choice. You're planning another prank, aren't you? Of course I am. It's been a whole year. Gotta show everyone how much better the grown-up version of me can do pranks. 
Can you really say you've grown up as if all you do is play pranks like always? I don't see why not. Who said growing up mean I had to give up on fun tricks? Feels like almost everyone probably thinks that. Can't you show people how you've grown in other ways? Like how? I don't really know how I'm different now. I could tell you- I could tell how you are different though. Me? No, forget it. What's with you? Cool. And that's the end of AP. Alright, I forgot about all of this. Okay, so this is different. Oh, it has their ages here. Yeah, Malt's only 13, he was, so he was 12 in the previous game. So he's the oldest. And the youngest, um, the youngest is May. I think she's a year younger than Chicken Hack, so she's 6. Kininu, male, female, 10, 13. Points leveled up. Oh, actually, it's, this is a good place to check their uh, stats and uh, their abilities. To an attack, increases attack hero mode. Normal attacks inflict double damage. That's really good. Hero mode, all attacks become critical. Moderate HP recovery from Chick. Piercing shot. Earthquake, three-hit attack on all ground enemies. You got her pretty late in the game. In two, in the original game. So having her early here might be really helpful. Standard cannon. I've noticed that he's the only one. You only get one cannon character at the beginning this time. Affinity. Attack on all enemies. Delay all enemies. Attack on all enemies. Attack on all... So all malts seem to be attack on all enemies. Chicken hack of attack on all enemies. HP recovery. Delay all enemies. See, so yeah, it's also different depending on who's in the front and who's in the back. Tarasca stats... Everything's level 2, all the facilities are level 1, looks like the same facilities from the first game. Nothing incredible there. Judgment? the hell is this? That's a new option. Items, I'm starting with a bunch because I carried over clear data from the first game. For selling only, unknown trinket, okay. Egg, cluckin' egg for cooking. You meat for cooking. Crunchy root for cooking. Here for the tanks. Oh, actually, it actually tells you what they're used for. I don't know if it did that in the previous game. Uh, options. I'm gonna up the display text display speed just because the scrolling is a little slow. Uh, costumes. We have extra clothing because of the clear data. So you can see everyone's wearing the Fuga One outfit now. So he's got the overalls now back instead of the uh, instead of the jacket. Eeg. And then we also have sleepwear, which I believe is a carryover bonus. Oh, that's cute. Fuga one. So after I finished it, it got a bunch of de clothing DLC. It got um, it got like school outfits, ancient like Japanese clothing, themed around uh, just like ancient Japanese culture. I can't remember the third one. They all look very comfortable. That's all in the Boron and Heavy Armor, yeah. It sucks because I never really played it after that DLC came out. I'd already beaten the game by that point, but I bought it anyway because I was just like, I really like this game and I want to support the devs. Because let me tell you, CC2, they're... They definitely were taking a loss at the first game, and I imagine they're taking a loss on this one, too. Cool and all, but I'm gonna just, uh, switch back to everyday wear. Wait, not yet. Shit. Uh, controller settings. We don't really need to change any of this. Library. Oh, boy. Time for... Time to go through all of this. Basic stats. There's, there's a whole thing here for every character. Locations, probably not going to be able to observe them until chapter 2 or 3, which means then you have to go back through the first two chapters to get those afterwards. Link events, this just lets you rewatch them. It's not really necessary to uh, do anything here. 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's 3 levels for, per character, just like the previous game. 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
Plus the children, so there's 12 children, okay. Just like the previous game. So I guess there's no one new joining us. End cards. Endings. Oh, this is a new section. There's five endings. Files, we usually probably get these as we go along. Comic pages. Again, get those later. This is probably all the stuff we've seen so far. Yeah. Death of the President. We don't know he's dead yet. Yeah, no quick way to scroll through all this. Okay, this is interesting up here. Um, I, what, is, what is this? What are these? Is this a currency? Because there was no shops in the first game. You didn't, you didn't spend money. I'm wondering what, what that all is up there. Alright, uh, switch character, B dash, begin assault. Can I not change? No, we can't. Okay. Help, main menu. Free time with crew, fork, root splits, target waypoint, elite battles. I avoided every elite battle in my, for, in my playthrough of the previous game. I only did like one or two of them. Runes expedition, junction... HP, SP, HP, SP, HP+, plus, SP+, plus, HP, SP+, plus, item, item, plus. Airship services waypoint. What is... Use the various airship services available. Destination waypoint. That can be specified using the airship services destination for the tank. Airdrop waypoint. Waypoint way on which recovery items can be placed using the airship services. Extreme route. A special extremely difficult route that will be unlocked after clearing the game. What? Meet up waypoint. Meet and talk to various people here. This is new. All this is new. I have no idea what any of this means. Can I not rearrange my characters yet? Like, I can't do that, like, outside of battle? I guess not, because turns are a factor. I don't think it's microtransactions. Anyway, we're back to the sad point. Hashtag sad boys. Le Tarani s'était enfin à portée de vue. La tension s'emparait des enfants tandis qu'ils se rapprochaient du char. Hey. What should we do? If we just keep chasing, this will never end. Ouais. We mustn't allow the Tyrannus to fire the soul cannon. Oh. What what the hell are you saying? Fight, 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 fight. Cool. Is the voice in the tank a person, or is it this some kind of internal computer? It's an AI of the character that piloted it in the previous game, who is quite literally Hitler, <laughs> that the kids defeated. And now they're using the enemy tank, and the enemy tank, for some reason, has an AI based on the, on that guy. And they're just, you know, it's just a navigation system. And so it's not actually him, but it's it's him. It's really weird. Are you trying to tell me Hannah and the others are going to attack us? Why would they try to hurt us? Mm. I think I'm pretty sure Hannah and the others are being controlled somehow. Huh? What do you mean? You're right. It must be some sort of spell. None of them would ever do anything like this otherwise. <clears throat> okay, then who cast the spell? Whoa! Did it just glitch out? <laughs> Oh, this is different. No way, are they really firing on us? I always knew that they saved Hitler's brain conspiracy was real. <laughs> Again, it mirrors Garn Lagan with Lord Genome's head being the navigation system. Ugh. I've seen all this but I've seen all this before. <clears throat> it's Hannah and the others. But I sense something wrong with them. They really do seem to be under someone's control. There's a movie by that name, a bad one. <laughs> really. No, I can't let that happen to May. Huh? What's gonna happen to May? <laughs> Did May just disappear? May. 
me. Don't worry, we're gonna prevent it this time. I mean, okay. I'm just gonna say, this is way more in the... F Wait, so if not Hitler's dead, who are they trying to fight? Leftover bad guys? Well, the tank from the first game has gone crazy and gotten self-aware or something, and it trapped several kids from the first game in it. And now we're in the bad guy's tank trying to take it out. The bad guy, the, the bad guys are gone at this point. They've they've surrendered and, sur and signed a, a peace treaty. So the, the army's no longer... The first game had to do with them fighting the army with this tank that we're in right now being the final boss. But now, uh, apparently something more AI-based and personal is happening here. Where is she? Could that be... The Soul Cannon Chamber? They can't... I won't let them fire! Yeah, the tank on the right is the tank we played as in the first game. With all the children. And now it's gone... Rogue, apparently, with, with self-awareness. I don't know. <laughs> Countdown. Five more turns. By turning back the time, the children are forced to fight the Tyrannus once more. Hesitate, and the Tyrannus will use the Soul Cannon, which will lead to an unfortunate end. Now let's damage and disable the Tyrannus from fighting, and try to rescue the children. Ooh. I could feel May from the chamber. We have to get her out. May. Damn it. Isn't there something we could do to snap her out of it? <laughs> then wouldn't damaging it from the outside bring her to her senses for a while? Oui. Alright then, let's focus our attack and bring May back to us. In order to merge victorious against battle against the Tyrannus, you will need to utilize all the abilities of the Tarascus and the children. Battle tip 1. Aim for Amy's chamber. Reduce the chamber HP up to the mark, and I'll give you a chance to temporarily return May to her senses. Battle tip 2. Use link attacks. You can use link attacks by setting characters to high affinity at the same gun turret. Link attacks can be used when the link attack gauge with a pair of, of high affinity characters reaches max. Okay. Malt and Kyle have a high affinity, so let's use the formation screen to place them at the same turret. If you switch to another child along the way, the accumulated gauge will always stay the same. Use the Monogarm. Monogarm is a powerful weapon that can only be used once every battle. However, it uses a small amount of the child's life, so the ch selected child will be temporarily knocked out. You will not obtain any experience points in the results, so don't use it often. Children who are knocked out can recover from the dormitory during intermission. Wait, formation. I already used Kyle, but I'm gonna go ahead and just plop him here. These two are good. So these, these are perfect, because they both have link attacks. Can I... If I swap... Yeah, it does. It swaps their turns, too. Okay, cool. When Hex spammed the Monogarm in his fight, yeah. Well, he's an adult. He doesn't get knocked out. Oh, I have the Link attack already. Perfect. Wait, really? Ugh, okay. Can't use Earthquake. Swap them because then we got we got all the more powerful abilities here. Yeah. 
Rogue Strike. Juicy bread. An awakening chance comes up when the HP is reduced on the mark on the HP gauge. Awakening chance can break through the mind control on the other children with the power of words, giving you an edge in battle. Me. It's me, your brother, Malt. No. Mm. She won't listen to me. I wonder if there's something I could say to snap her out of it. Grandpa and Grandma are waiting to come back home for us. I'm leaving without you? Wow. I wonder which one of these is the right choice. Cool. Alt? No. Uh, Serbia. That's right, May. It's me. Interrupt Soul Cannon Countdown. May temporarily came back to her senses, immobilizing Tyrannus. Choose the best option based on the nature of your opponent for a successful awakening. I mean, I guess we gotta keep targeting that, though targeting this would help. That'll delay it. Oh, we need some armor rank down, though. They're almost, they've almost got their link attack. They're at 93%. Oh, me. <laughs> Just in play. Juicy bread. Turns. Me. Stop, you're going to hurt yourself. No. no good, she's not responding. Isn't there something I could say to break the spell? Do as I say, May. I'll save you no matter what, May. I'm assuming these get harder as you go through the game. Cool. Mot? Serbia. That's right, May. It's me. You wanna Okay, that might be it. That's pretty good. It was more like a puzzle than an actual fight, but... Very cool. Again, this is still the first chapter, which is always, like, just super tutorial. Malt, level 4. Pile, level 3. Chick, level 3. Hack level 3, and he got Repulse Shot. Attack that extends the duration of an enemy's delay. That's cool. That's not a function that was in the first game. I'm guessing we're getting the character that was in the cannon back now. Wait. Somehow. Alright, it stopped firing. Let's close the gap while we can. Uh. What the? Are you gonna teleport the child out? 
Au moment où le Tarascus s'approcha du Taranis silencieux, ce dernier s'enveloppa de lumière. Oh Is the Tyrannus glowing Some unknown force. Same one that. How do you not know? The, tar the Tarascus has the literal same ability. La lumière du Taranis commençait à également envelopper le Tarascus. Les deux machines sont. Oops. Sorry, French voice actor. Limited teleportation access to the soul chamber. Cannon chamber has been granted. Huh? Wait, May's in the soul cannon chamber? Does that mean we could bring her back here? Rescue time. Ah, there's the hook. We get. <clears throat> Hold on, are they really going to fire the soul cannon at us? We're out of time. We need to teleport May over here. Alors que les deux chars brillaient de plus en plus, la lueur entourant le canon des âmes disparut dans un éclat. Teleporting tanks. Au même moment, à l'intérieur du Tarascus, mind control. Des particules de lumière se rassemblaient pour former un amas lumineux de la taille d'un enfant. Floating islands. This really is Tears of the Kingdom. L'amas de lumière changeait progressivement de forme. Game came at the exact same time. Distinct, à la surprise de tous. Can I call out this disbelief as the image became more clear and more familiar? What? Look. <gasps> it's May. May, is that you? I can't believe something like this is possible. <laughs> as long as May is back safely with us, I'll gladly believe it. Uh, yeah, can't argue with that. May! May! Mm -hmm. May, I can't believe it. Nah. Look, she moved a bit. <sighs> Thank goodness. She doesn't look hurt, but let's get her somewhere she can rest properly. <sighs> I ran out of breath there. Le Taranis se retourna lentement pour se remettre en marche. What's the Tyrannus doing? What the dog doing? What the dogs and the Tyrannus doing? Hold it right there. You're not getting away. You ain't going anywhere. Hmm. Looks like we're stuck. Merde. Damn it. Fine then, we'll catch you back up to them before long. Right. Nous avons réussi à secourir l'un des nôtres. C'était la seule pensée positive à laquelle les enfants pouvaient s'accrocher pour l'instant. Au même moment. Inside the Tyrannus. Huh. Guess they managed to steal one away from me. Oh well. Still got a few bullets left. <laughs> I have to hurry and get back what belongs to me. I won't let anyone stand in my way. Who is this edge boy? We got a Tumblr sexy man and an edge boy on, on the two different tanks here. That's gonna be a battle of the ages. Illustration by Koki. So if you missed, if, well, if you didn't see me stream Fuga 1 or you haven't played Fuga 1, all the title end cards are done by, like, very established Japanese uh, furry artists. Not even, not always furry. Some are, like, manga artists. Some are just professional artists. So now it's a long rescue mission while figuring out who or what is behind all of this, you know. Freelance of Gasco. Port Leo. Oh, so, yeah, this is gonna be a little... Well, how is the... Hmm... So that map screen is a lot different than Fuga 1's. 
It's more kin. The map screen's more kin to Solata Robos. Les enfants arrivèrent à un port en ruine, saccagé par le Taranis. Upon the tracks left behind by the Taranis, the children eventually reached a ruined port, left devastated by an attack. Mm. Don't tell me it rode out if you're on an airship. How did it do that? Les ports avaient été mis en place à travers Gasco pour accueillir les dirigeables. Nouveaux moyens de transport essentiels à la reconstruction du pays. Might be Fuga One spoilers here, just, just so we're clear. What a mess. It's like a war zone out here. Mm. Hello, is anyone there? We come in peace and mean you no harm. Oh, you're sure you're not with that tank that attacked us earlier? Huh? We would never attack this port, though I suppose I can't exactly say they aren't our friends. Merde. I had a feeling the Tyrannus was behind all this. Damn it, we could have stopped them. Mm. Could you tell us what happened and where the tank that did this went? We're on its trail and trying to stop it. I was minding my own business when this giant tank bigger than Holy Island came out of nowhere and rained hellfire on us. Then it stole... Ugh, excuse me. Then it stole aboard the biggest cargo ship in the port and flew off. <clears throat> Seriously? I guess that means we won't be following any more tread tracks anytime soon. Mm. True. And if we're going to continue our pursuit of the Tyrannus, we'll definitely be needing an airship. You won't look it for an airship too, then. Sorry, but all the ships in the port are busted up. I'm trying to fix them as fast as I can, but it'll take some time. Like is not... I see. While I'm running these repairs, would you mind doing me a favor? Mm. Sure, what did you have in mind? I'm a bit worried whether or not there's any injured folk out there. Maybe someone got hurt while trying to escape that damn tank. I can't really tear myself away from these repairs to check, though. Would you all mind going and checking on everyone for me? I'm on the cube. Understood. Just leave it to us. You may stop at ports like this between adventures. Here you can gather information from people or buy or sell items to get ready for your next adventures. Select the location from the menu and talk to everyone. New entry's been added to the library. I, for some reason, I saw this coffee here and I thought that was a toilet. <laughs> voice acting is lovely. Yeah, they, they're really... The French voice actors are really good. There are shops where you could buy and sell various items. By talking to various people, you could gather information and obtain items. Talk to people in town or proceed to the next chapter. LaCroix Rose Market. Buy and sell items to use during battles. Buy and sell items for expanding facilities. Buy and sell items for farming use. Must taste like flower water. <laughs> this is a shop where items can be bought or sold. Transactions are made with money. What? Money in my Fuga game? You can check the status of the tank by pressing X. Use it to check what materials are needed for upgrading and expanding facilities. Thank you so much. It makes this so much easier. Yes, you can look at exactly what you need. Beautiful. So you can see what you need to expand and what you need to upgrade. The weapons. Cool. Perfect. What are you after? Meat. Gyu meat for cooking. Well, yeah, I don't think we need any of that. You don't need... It, there's, yeah, it's not going to tell you what you need to actually cook the recipes, unfortunately. Sell all valuables. Unknown trinket times two. Yeah, sure. So they're literally just for selling. Okay. Relieves depression. Peace candy. Oh, wait, I wish I had some of that. It's expensive, too. Sell it for 900 each. Fear is relieved from all allies. Relieves injury. Cool. This dude down here. That's me. That's me talking to the other guy. Buy everything twice, no. You're the wife? I'm pretty sure that's another guy. So, so, you know, that's fine. I'm the husband. Silk line, increase the number of items fished. Okay, we'll buy a couple of those. Those can help us. No point in upgrading yet if we're not even at level 5. Uh, so, let's see. What do I need for the armor? Iron scrap. Oh, the amount I have is on the right, not the left. Okay, so I don't need any more for that. I do need a used battery, though. And I need a lot more rusty barrels to upgrade these. 
Small and large. They're both the same price. So I'm gonna upgrade the grenade launcher, but then I won't have enough for either of the other two. I need a lot more. Honestly, this, the machine gun's probably the most important to upgrade, just because the, raising the damage of that thing is extremely helpful. Piercing ammo. Attack with one armor rank decrease on all enemies. Buy two of those. Yeah, it's really weird that... So in the previous game, the way it worked is it was all bartering system. What it would be was like, it would be like trade in five rusty barrels for one large barrel. You could give in f one large barrel for five rusty barrels. Like, it would be an exact one-to-one -one trade. There would be no money at all. I do not know how to get more money. La Cafe Plunk. Cafe La Plunk, excuse me. Talk to people to gather information and trade. The weaponry of the Burman army seems possessed by wicked spirits that make an attack at random with no regard for the armistice. You're the burger. People around here started to call the B Berman Geists. Berman Geists, I see. So like ghosts. She's cute. Oh, she might be a poodle, actually. I just realized. We, we, we mentioned there's no poodles in this world, and there you go. This old fella's eating meat. What we got down here? We got something. I think it's a potato. Lots of st There's a guy in the accordion back there. Scrap dealer. Well, I'll be. You kids are all fighting those moving hunks of junk in that big thing. What a hoot. I've got all sorts of wares that'll help in battle. Not entirely sure I should be selling the kids, but these are desperate times. Buy pack for 300. Buy great pack for 600. Fuck it, we ball. And there's a shrewd choice indeed. Makes me wish you worked for me. Piercing white and cluster bomb. Don't go telling anyone who I sold to sold that to you, you hear? Do you know which BN versions you're playing? I mean, I'm not really... I don't really anticipate going back to the collection anytime soon just because I have way too much to do. If... if if that collection had come out, well, I don't know, actually. To be honest, I've been so busy, I can't really even think about it. BN3, I don't know. I mean, at some point, I'm going to be playing all of them, because I'm going to get all the achievements in both ver both volumes. But I don't know which versions I'm going to be focusing on. Probably Falzar for 6, just because I streamed Gregar. And Falzar is my favorite version of it. It's the same gentleman from before. Little birdie tells me you kids are the ones who fought for us back in the war. Judgment chance. Oh, right. There are choices which can change parameters called judgment values. The judgment values, resolution, and empathy depend increase depending on the choices you make. They are they're indicated on the right side of choices with a red icon for resolution and a blue icon for empathy. We're still fighting today, not by choice. It's a sad world we live in when children like yourselves are thrown into combat. Yeah, re Renegade and Paragon, pretty much. Malt learned a new leader skill. Careful. Hex is an enemy's sight to make its attack fail. Leader skill learned by increasing judgment value. They have support abilities that inspire the crew and make them show more strength than usual through Malt's leadership. Leader skills are randomly activated in battle. For more information on leader skills, press plus and select judgment on the status menu. Judgment values for empathy and resolution may increase with Malt's actions. These values factor into the fate of the children, especially Malt. Press plus to open the menu. This is the judgment menu. The judgment values on the left side increase depending on Malt's choices during their adventures. Empathy is a value that ranks Malt's cooperativeness. It increases when he acts with compassion for the crew and other people. Resolution is a value that ranks Malt's determination. It increases when he shows the will to achieve his goals. How is that? How is that different for me? Like, that still seem like two things that could coexist. As each value increases, leader skills are added to the list on the right side. Leader skills are buff effects that randomly activate 
in battle due to Malt's commanding ability. During the adventure, you will face many situations that will force you to make decisions to increase your judgment values. Aim to obtain leader skills. So it looks like the first choice gives you one, and then you get one for each section you go through. Empathy is a value of doing actions caring for the crew. Resolution is a value that increases by doing actions of realizing goals. Gasco, the Shattered Continent. Calamitous event a year prior caused the continent to fragment and divide into several groups of floating islands. So there you go, there's the spoilers for the first game. The position of each region has shifted dramatically due to the tempestuous air currents. You're either kind or ruthless, essentially, yeah. Following the fragmentation of Gasco, the industrial city of Pharaoh, having suffered the least amount of destruction due to it being nestled in the mountains, became the new capital in the place of Parisia. The headquarters of the Gasco army were also relocated here. Sturdy bedrock excavated from this quarry is used as high-quality building material for construction in Faro. Rail line is being developed to transport the stone more efficiently. End card. History of Gasco 1. Gasco is not the name of a nation, but of a collection of autonomous regions on the continent that have elected to unite, unite under a single system. Decades before the fragmentation of the continent, these regions often clashed and fought among themselves. Tired of such friction, leaders came together to establish new laws, Laws which forbade the use of force and outlawed the possession of weapons of war. No strict penalties were placed on economic and cultural activities, and this new ruling was hailed as the Declaration of Freedom throughout all of Gasco. One exception was made for the Army of Parisia, which went on to act as poli a police force for Gasco as a whole. Gonna watch, gonna head to bed and watch a crazy video you found. Ooh, nice. Love you too, honey. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Love you. Don't ask me to make a joke about what that what the police force. Okay. I pray day after day we find ourselves at peace once more. Talk to everyone you can. So you're the young one. You're fighters who cleared out the port for us. As you can see, things are moving along once again. I mean, my France running the EU in this universe. <laughs> it may not be much, but I'd like you to have this as a way of thanks. Oh, nice. 500 coins. Everyone here owes their livelihoods to you. Livelihoods to you. My house burned down. I've got nowhere left to call home. Don't give up. Hang in there. Hand over 500. Yeah, sure. I just got it. Easy come, easy go. Young boy with such fiery eyes. Thank you. I need to find the strength you seem to possess. Probably give more more empathy. I'm assuming you could fill both bars up. It's not like it's not like the S and T from uh from Tales of Symphonia. I'm just about done with these repairs. How are things looking around the port? Mm. We ran around and spoke with everyone. No one seems to have been injured. Well, that's a relief. Thank you kindly. So now we just have to get this massive tank airborne, right? Guess you'll be needing a huge airship. I'll also let you know if I hear anything about the ship hauling that tank that attacked us. Way. Are you sure? This is a huge help. Thank you. We've got to help each other out in situations like this. We'll help you make up for the time lost in our own way. So go on and get that villainous tank for us. Merci. You've got it. Thank you again. I think what I'm going to do is in one more hour... Uh, I'm going to, because I'm going to cut this into three separate streams, uh, like I did with Zelda. So I'm going to, in another hour, I'm going to cut it. Actually, maybe another half hour, I'll cut this. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break, use the bathroom, and then uh, I'll start part two. The part command is now available. You can proceed to the next chapter by selecting it from the menu. I have splurged on $200 drawing tablets, been working pretty well so far, and so in ways no longer forced to carry your entire laptop and stuff when you feel like drawing. That's awesome! The tank is all loaded up, ready to depart. Continue the adventure, yes. All aboard! So yeah, in the first game this was all one big continent. And it broke apart as a result of the war. 
volcanic lands of Lhasa Apso. Chapitre 2. The girl with the flaxen hair. Might get a CSP Pro plan since I don't need EX settings on it. Should have talked to Nessie, Nessie about that. I think she... Uh, no, she uses Procreate, I believe. Well... That's right, May. It's me. Thank goodness. You'll be all right now. May, jusqu'alors inconsciente, ouvrait enfin les yeux. Les enfants lui demandèrent ce qui s'était passé à l'intérieur du Taranis. Mais elle avait perdu connaissance et ne se souvenait de rien. You use Cloud to transfer files from one to another easily. Yep. Oui. Maybe you should take it easy for now. C'est vrai. That's right. I'll keep watch. So get a few more winks and rest easy, May. Oui. Okay. I feel all right, but I'll sleep some more. Hey. You've fallen pretty far behind. We need to catch up to the Tyrannus. Mm. I got a transmission from a man at the port. He said the Tyrannus was sighted somewhere in this area. Uh. I wonder where it's headed. Cool. Alright, let's follow these tracks. We have to save Han and the others. We'll go after Tyrannus no matter what gets in our way. I feel like the first one would be what he would say. May joined the crew. Matt! I just remembered something. Yeah. What is it? So yeah. mouth started hurting. Well, I know it looked kind of like me and Hannah were awake, but we were all kind of asleep. Mm. Uh, what exactly does that mean? <sighs> Perhaps some form of hypnosis? Quite certain there was a spell that caused similar effects. Mm. If that's the case, who's the one casting the spell? Shouldn't have been anyone else in the Tyrannus with them, right? Uh, um, there was a boy in there I didn't know. Cool. What? Are you serious? Ils furent tous surpris d'entendre qu'un autre enfant se trouvait à l'intérieur du Tyrannus. Comment et quand avait-il pu entrer alors qu'avant leur arrivée, les portes étaient censées être solidement fermées? Pendant ce temps, Anna, toujours prisonnière du Taranis, reprenait connaissance. Eh bien... This must be the inside of the Tyrannus. That's right, we had just come in to survey the interior. Elle regarda autour d'elle et aperçut Boron, Sox et Britz, toujours inconscients. Mm. Wait, where's May? I remember she was with us when we entered. Huh? May, you mean that little squirt? I used her in the soul cannon earlier. Oh my god. They don't know. Un garçon en camisole de force apparut soudainement dans la pièce, flottant dans les airs et fixant Anna d'un sourire malsain. Who are you? Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> kind of weird that you can't hear me given those big ears you've got. I said I used her in the shell of the soul cannon. Boom. This dude. Just going by the going by the hair and the lack of pointy ears and the fact that he just said that, I think he's a human. <sighs> well, tried at least. Things didn't exactly go as planned. Oh, no. How cruel! How could you? <laughs> my my, cranky, aren't we? Guess that's to be expected from a beast fresh out of hibernation. Okay, there's no doubt in my mind the way this dude's talking. It's it's a human, <sighs> or rather, well, I don't know. We'll have to see. What are you? Le garçon attaché rétorqua avec un regard glacial. The bound boy. <sighs> you have some nerve to ask me what I am. You're the walking, talking beasts. What are you? <laughs> I am Jill. That's a, that's a nice jumble of letters there. Just move the H to the beginning, and, and you got alphabetical order. <laughs> and I'm fairly certain I come from a different world than all of you. Well, I mean, he's absolutely a human. We could, you could just tell by the way he's talking. Even his name is Edgy, yeah. Uh... Jewel the Hedgehog. 
Comme après l'attempt. Après l'attempt. Alors que les enfants continuaient leur poursuite du Taranis. Oh, you could use the old music too, I think. Children were surprised at their own. Does that mean the one aiding the, you might be human too? I mean, I think it was implied that the hologram in the previous game was a human. Can't remember. I'm quite famished. Isn't there anything to eat in here? I knew it. Une passagère inattendue apparut parmi eux, comme si de rien n'était. I knew she hid in there. She would follow them. Huh? V Vanilla, what? How? When did you get here? <sighs> I came aboard the same time the rest of you did. Pretty obvious, isn't it? Mm. You can't be here, Vanilla. It's too dangerous. We're not playing around and having fun here. Don't you realize that? <laughs> I know that, but did you really expect me to sit back in Pharaoh and do nothing? I must avenge my father. Ces mots n'étaient pas le fruit d'un instinct primaire de vengeance, mais étaient bien empreints de détermination. Sachant qu'il était trop tard pour la faire descendre du char, les enfants se résignèrent à l'accepter à bord. Fine, so be it. But we're in serious danger out here, so don't go making any more bold choices on your own. Oui. I'll give you a quick tour of the Tarasca since I'm the oldest. <laughs> don't treat me like a child, I can at least figure out that much on my own. <sighs> okay then. Vanilla joined the crew. With the tank's functions restored, lifts in one section are now available. New facilities will be available on different floors, so check it out. Oui? Now what might this be here? <laughs> That's our old notebook. Thought it might remind everyone of the old days. Uh, yeah. You all shared a notebook? Oui. We all wrote down stuff we wanted to do and shared it with everyone. <laughs> hey, you know what? Now that we have someone new here with us, we should start another notebook together. Excellent. That does sound like fun. I would be more than happy to join in. Okay, oh, this. Yeah. This is where each child's wishes are displayed. Let's try granting Vanilla's wish. I want to sleep. Oh, there's a new thing up there. Like a... Is that a meter? Or is that just a, like a graphic? Also, sorry, my leg is really itchy. I want to have a girls-only pajama party. Mm. She's doing her best, but she looks tired. We should let her get some rest. Vanilla wants to sleep. First, let's go to the dormitory. So this is a carryover bonus. The peace we've regained back then was quick to shatter. This is a bonus for getting the true ending of the first game. It's all the children looking at the uh, broken continents together. And th yeah, this is another one. This is another bonus. Uh, this plays the music from the first game's intermission. Cool, so you get to switch back and forth between that. This is the dormitory. Children who rest here obtain experience points. Restor resting restores children who are injured or knocked out. Expand the facility to obtain more experience and allow more children to rest at a time. We need wood, feathers, plywood, etc. Select a child you like to rest from the list. Children who rest will gain experience and heal injuries. The number of children who can rest at a time depends on the number of bunks. Please let injured and knocked out children rest here first. So she, so Vanilla wants to sleep, and so does Chicken Hack. And regardless of which one I put in there, there I'm, I'm meeting their goal. But uh, I guess I should put Hack in there because he's not excellent condition, unlike Chick. No one else wants to sleep, right? Yeah, no. So we'll put <laughs> Vanilla in there, and then we'll put uh, Hack in there. Take a rest. <coughs> Pretty decent uh, experience. Wish complete. Vanilla feels great. Hack feels great. My hiding space has been so cramped, I'm relieved to be out. Vanilla now feels great because you granted her wish. Children who are feeling great are more energetic in battle and have a greater chance of success. Try to keep this feeling great by granting the children's wishes as much as you can. 
You were able to open the notebook anytime during the intermission. The jukebox is now available in the dormitory. The commemorative photo can now be viewed in the dormitory. Oh, it is a meter! Oh, I wonder what happens when you fill that. That's That wasn't there in the first game. Control room is now unlocked. Garden is now unlocked. Animal shed is now unlocked. The dormitory is now unlocked. Lift can be taken to the farm, garden, and animal shed. Your new allies greatly impact how the story unfolds. The bonds they forge with the other children will be necessary to arrive at the true ending. Allow multiple children to bond with the vanilla. <laughs> Alright then. This is where you can set the children's placements in battle. Any changes made here will be reflected in the next battle. Oh, okay. Okay, so, and she's cannon. So she's a cannon user, so that makes sense. Furious Burst. Three hit attack with high critical rate on an enemy. Ooh. She has lower attack, but higher... What's the star again? I can't remember. She has really high star a bit compared to uh, Malt. Oh, right, and I have May back as well. I think it's just magic or skill ability. There's a buff happening here. Oh, increases attack. Okay. And I'm guessing she's increases luck critical. Oh, that's luck. Okay. Increases speed. But her his speed doesn't appear to be buffed. Where's HP with normal attacks? Still another lift here. I'm gonna unlock that one later. <sighs> Something feels somehow sad. So she's the Brits of this game. In the previous game, you needed Brits to have, like, a, uh, a ranking with at least one person, I think, of level 2 or higher. In order for her to... in order to not lose him. He finally returned to a peaceful life with his mother and sister. Brits adopted a steadfast and resolute heir, though he retains his gentle nature. He aims to serve as a mediator to mend diplomacy between Berman and Gasco. The president's youngest daughter. Due to her upbringing, she is well-educated, well-behaved, and always speaks in a polite manner. She can be a bit impetuous and hard-headed at times, which she considers a personal failing. Hacks Canino AI. Male, 42. Former Supreme Commander of the Gasco Invasion Forces. Though he perished in the war a year ago, his consciousness lives on as an AI core that controls the Tarascus. Lieutenant Mus Canel Muscat, 27. Lieutenant in the Gasco Army and right-hand officer to General Merlot, Muscat is the president eld president's eldest daughter, but she chose to defend Gasco via the military versus political something. Oh, wow. Uh, versus the political sphere. She is perennial con perennially concerned for her sister, Vanilla. President Shane Muscat, 58. The de facto political head of Gasco, a pacifist whose primary focus is on domestic policy. His late wife passed half a year ago in a tragic accident, one which also left him covered in severe burns. Sheena Falafel. Despite the disdain she once held for her power, Sheena now wields magic freely and works tirelessly to master all manner of new spells. Once quiet and aloof, now she clearly has express now she clearly expresses her personality and opinions with her friends. Chick's twin brother, Hack Montblanc. Montblanc, excuse me. A sprightly and a rambunctious boy who dreams of going on adventures like Sucre. The hero, uh, Sucre, excuse me, the hero of the comics he reads. Lofty goals aside, he still resorts to playing childish pranks on others. Hack's twin sister. She thinks of Hannah as the ideal woman and aspires to be kind-hearted and sensitive to the needs of others like just like her. 
Perhaps this is why she tries to put a stop to Hack's pranks. May. Yeah, May's the youngest. She was four in the first game, and she's five now. Malt's youngest sister. May can't wait to grow up and help like everyone, just like Hannah, she, she, who she views as a sister. She cherishes the hat, hat Malt gave to her. Whoa. Whoa. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm voicing all over the place here. May Marzipan. Socks Million. Socks uses engineering knowledge he's gained through the studying of the Tyrannus to hone his unique craft as an inventor. His current interests lie in Berman's airship technology. Boron Brioche. After surviving many fierce battles, Boron is a crybaby no longer, though his kind and gentle heart remains intact. Now he aims to curb his overindulgence in culinary fare. Kyle Bar Bavaroy. Best boy, yes. Following the arduous battle of the previous year, Kyle has since learned the importance of being part of the team. He's much more open than he used to be. He still sees Malt as his rival. Hannah. Hannah Fondant. I was just... I, I was... <laughs> Someone posted screenshots from a, 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 a Reddit the other day that's called Fondant Hate, and it's... Man, there, there are people out there that fucking hate fondant um i i'm kind of i'm kind of ambivalent on it i can't really remember how much of it i've had before but it's um it's 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 all right i have to try it again can't remember the last time i had anything covered in fondant Malt's childhood friend she helps around the house while studying to become a doctor with the aim of saving as many lives as possible she's always willing to make sacrifices for the good of others the eldest of the group of children from Petite Mona, the arduous conflict a year past granted him a sober maturity. By the same token, he now finds himself in the world-weary pitfall of jaded cynicism. Not good. Boy in the straitjacket. Why? Smear a smirk on his face. Rye. Why? Rai. Re. Okay. Farm menu. Seeds and seedlings can be planted in the garden to grow plants and crops while animals can be raised in the shed. With these, we can harvest ingredients for cooking such as vegetables and milk. Expand the facility to increase the number of tasks you can do. You'll be able to obtain a large amount of ingredients at once. Seeds and animals required for using the farm menu can be purchased at the pork shops. Select the task you want to do from the list. Like the task to be registered at the circles on the right, you can only register up to the number of plots available. You can raise the number of plots by expanding. Register tasks can be duplicated. Plant potatoes, plant apples. It says I don't have any, though. You can harvest the crops during the next intermission. I guess I just have the seeds. Grand is a bit. May feels great. I want to plant something in the garden. Actually, how are we doing on levels here? Who, what's everyone's level? Everyone's three, with May being the lowest here. Because she has no experience. Same thing. Collect feathers, collect eggs. I do like that they already have the uh, level 2 between them. <clears throat> Events do not take up AP. May. What's the matter? Are you hurt? Did something happen? <laughs> Downstairs, it was so dark and scary. Mm. Downstairs where? <sighs> I went to play with the cluckin', but I got lost and... Oh, boom. Uh, I want you to stay away from that room for me, okay? Pardon. I'm sorry. No. No, don't be. You didn't do anything wrong. Mm. Okay. That time she got put in the soul cannon chamber must still haunt her. Shoot. Can I sleep with you today? Way. Of course, anytime you need.
Actually, we already have two eggs. So let's make two collect feathers. I think. They're both cluckin', so they have the same symbol. That was the same. It's the same. It was the same sheep noise. I don't like this place. Yeah, that's the same stock sheep noise I have in my stream deck. This one didn't sound like a sheep. Um, I have 13 AP left. What do people want? I want to cook in the mess room. I want to have some guy talk. I'm hungry. Okay. So if Sheena cooks and we eat, that'll fulfill two more goals. Jibe. Jibe. Let's make steak tartare or carrot salad. Probably the better rate one to go for this one. Nice. No, granted, these affects all the children. Increases attack by 15. Malt feels great. Sheena feels great. Complete. Fulfilling enough wishes granted is increase your experience. Good job, you filled enough wishes to get a reward. You fulfilled enough wishes to get a reward. You can get it again by starting at the next intermission, so try to fulfill as many wishes again as possible. Cool. So, like, now there's an actual reason to do this beyond just increasing their, uh, their, their mood. I can have, I can do Kyle's pretty easily, too. Also, now, now it gives you, like, a little buff menu. May's still the lowest, so. We want to do first is get her here. By the way, there's no save menu in this game. Saving is automatic at certain points, and uh, you can make an interrupt save by quitting, but that's it. Bonjour. My father shall be avenged by my own hand. Come on, there's a great eeriness to this tank. There's much I must yet learn from watching all of you. Indeed, focus on what you can handle. You're getting the hang of things. <laughs> I have improved my hand in the kitchen, at least. Preach? Tell me, May, what do you think of Malt? Huh? My brother? He's really nice, and I love him. <laughs> Grandma and Grandpa said I should stick with him forever, because he's my only brother. <laughs> But they didn't have to tell me. I want to stay with them anyway. Uh, yeah. Sounds like you two are quite the pair. I would like to get along better with my own sister, but she was nearly grown by the time I was born, so we never truly played together. Uh, you have a big sister? You're lots bigger than me, but you're still a little sister? Just like me? That's funny. But, um, Is it? You'll still be a little sister even when you're my age, you know? Uh, I will? Will my brother get even bigger too? Oui. I imagine so, yes. Uh, oh, I want to be just as I wanted to be just as big as him someday. <laughs> Now there's an interesting thought. <laughs> Link attack acquired. You can see them behind the curtain during that event. I did not know that. Come on, but you. Wish I had heard from my sister before meeting you all. Bonjour. Let my dear sister say what she will. I have no intention of returning home. Please? 
How's my performance in battle? You haven't battled yet. You're good when you learn to hit. You're powerful. Fantastic. I am? Yes. I am, yes. Looks can be deceiving. Tell me some stories, Vanilla. I want to know lots of, about lots of things. Bonjour. Oh, such as what, perhaps? Hopefully something I could speak of. <laughs> Tell me about girls in cities like Parisia and the outfits they wear and stuff. Eh oh, a lovely topic. Something I just so happen to know a thing or two about, too. Eh bien. Though I must admit, I was often surrounded less by those in fancy dresses and more by those in more modest modern garb. Huh? What's the difference? Mm. Our outfits are far from flashy, more like uniforms than anything else. Likely due to the status of my parents and sister. My sister went off to the officer's academy from a young age. Never was one for frills with her clothing. Yeah, huh? But you, I imagine you would look lovely in an extravagant dress. I want to wear one so bad. Nice. I don't have enough for another upgrade. I do have enough for two more. Uh, is there a way to check affinity without the link events? Oh, affinity. Here we go. Uh, anyone close to leveling up? Like, just by nature of being here? Doesn't look like it. Well, since Sheena... Well, since um, Vanilla seems to be the most important to bond with, I'm gonna probably just try to have people hit up her. Sheena's very close to leveling up. It's probably best to just have her do it. I think my late father still overwhelms me with sorrow. We never confirmed he was dead. One day I hope to help the people much the way my great father did. Oh, I could have upgraded the armor. Well, no no biggie. And I could upgrade the uh, reactor as well at this point. We'll do that next intermission. No more AP. Press the L to begin assault. Meet up. We're in a bad spot. One of our transports just bit the dust and we're in a hurry to get back. Shoot, a bunch of our equipment is kaput too. This can't be good. Help repair the truck. At least you're still alive. Hand over one rusty breach times one. That's just what we needed. Not sure if it'll be help, but take this as thanks. Oh, cool. It's a bunch of stuff we just traded. I'm now well rested and eager to begin. Do allow me to join you in battle. Mm. Right, sure. Just don't overdo it, okay? If I had to guess Wappa is not in this game, and that Vanilla is the replacement for her, since Wappa, no one could get a hold of her. Come on, let us begin. Mood of characters are feeling great gradually increases in battle and will eventually reach its max, activating hero mode. You can see what the, when the children's mood increases by the icon's color and number of stars. Increasing mood, condition 1. Hit the enemy or get hit by the enemy. Increasing mood, condition 2. The lower the tank's HP, the greater the increase. Let's raise Vanilla's mood all the way. Switches to hero mood. Act. Vanilla switches to hero mode. Hero mode lasts for 5 turns, so be sure to take advantage of it before it wears off. Hero mode effects are different for each child, so please check their status from the main menu. Act right away after taking damage. Cool. Okay, that's 
pretty good. Now we have two people that, uh... Oh, that resets. Whoops. That didn't help too much because they're, they're still going to attack now. And because he has hero mode, she just gets to go immediately. Awesome. And that just continues until she attacks five times. Wow. Those tanks are kind of turning into mist. Introducing new character features. Vanilla uses a cannon with a high critical rate. Great for facing off against strong enemies. Sab. Big Sab. Sharp Bolt. Attack on an enemy that ignores armor. The higher the armor, the stronger the attack. Ooh. That's a neat little push and pull mechanic there. Great. The children's great feeling will continue until the next intermission. You can enter hero mode multiple times by raising the mood in battle. So try to aim for that. Introducing new character features, Mei uses a fast speed machine gun that makes her turns faster. Using swift shot increases her speed even more. Calls for allies for a packet. Wait, what? I didn't see that. Oh, they all went... Sped them up. Pack attacks where multiple enemies attack at the same time are dangerous and inflict great damage. The enemies attacking in a pack are marked in red. The more enemies are participating in the attack, the higher the damage will be. Weaken the pack by attack, pack attack by delaying the enemies with status ailments or attacking all their weaknesses. The monogram is available at any time, which is kind of creepy. Perfect. Uh, rank up with all of them. I see, so if you delay them, then their attacks are no longer overlapped. Dung fleet. Wait, so, so what was the other one that we had? That sounded really silly, the previous one. Bladdersturm, and now we have Dungfleege. This, this game's very dirty. Aerial drone with high evasion. It's difficult to hit with low accuracy. Cannons shoot them down with the machine gun has higher accuracy. It will use pack attack if with, with the others of the same unit type. Easier to target aerial enemies. So her ability is just lets her go quicker. They're all overlapping though. Oh, not anymore. And that dung fling, yeah. Bladder Sturm and dung fling. Why would they give Sturm a bladder? I'm relieved you were able to rescue your sister from the Tyrannus. Me too, but four of our friends are still trapped in there, so we can't celebrate victory just yet. Because I have to look it up. Blotter means leaves. Well, I mean, they all have, like, growth on them, and they seem to burst into spores when you kill them, so I'm thinking these things aren't, uh... These things are more organic than they seem. But we could save them, can't we? Of course, I want to see everyone smiling soon. We'll save them for sure, no matter how many enemies we have to face. 
empathy. How long does it take the empathy meter to go up? Oh my god, it has not gone up like it. It's barely halfway to the next mark. So I'm probably going to have to balance this out. In fact, I should probably pick a uh, resolute choice just to get another ability as quickly as I can here. Okay, we're getting a couple items up ahead. Rusty barrel. Leaf Storm moving Pokemon was also translated the same in German. Really? Along the route, this path, the path will branch like this. Choose more dangerous routes to obtain better items and more experience. Please choose the appropriate route depending on the tank's condition. So I could take a healing and two items with a two-phase battle, or I could do three phases, healing, better items, which I'll take. I usually never take the dangerous routes. I only always, I normally just take normal. Normal. Normally more normal. That's why I say normally. Fletchling, fast-moving armored tank with low HP. Watch out as it can delay one child and can use pack attack and with others of the same unit type to delay all the children. Swift shot, two-hit attack on enemy and speed increase with consecutive use max three times. Ooh. screens after every wave, right? Yeah. That's after every full battle. So individual waves don't count. There's the bladder sturm. Pulse shot. Attack that extends the duration of an enemy's delay. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier. It's, it's, it's not that's not a uh, thing that comes up in the first game. Mind, it killed it. Oh, I got ass! Nice. My first one of the game. Oh, another repulse shot. Good. More of them. The more people that have that, the better. All right, good view details too. Forgot to do that. I gotta use. I gotta try out uh, Kyle's ability that lets him do more damage the more armored the enemy is. Smart idea. Just hit play. Just 
Ah, soothing song. Relieves fear, for, fear from all attackers and support allies. So the zong enemies might literally be named Flying Poop, really. <laughs> Siphon Beam. Strong attack on an enemy and small HP recovery. Gift Fleege, a Doom Fleege that underwent a strange transformation. Watch out as it will use acid to damage the tank with each turn. Those are going to require two hits each to delay. Oh, there's a yellow. Should be focusing more on the stats rather than if they give a link to attack or not. I didn't think this through too because the two uh, machine gun users are not at the same time here. Can I not? Okay, I can't attack that. I get lucky here. Yeah, I destroyed it anyway. Okay. Add stealth. Riot grenade. Attack at least one target. Leader skill activated. Hex an enemy site to make its attacks fail. Malt's leader skill is triggered. Leader skills obtained like this can be triggered during battles. Learning multiple skills will further increase the chances to trigger them. Oh, because it's stealth, I can't hit it the same way. Try to attack an enemy and HP recovery. Small. No ground enemies to use that on. Still haven't pulled off a triple S yet. Fantastic. Turns. Few number of turns used the higher the rank, less damage received the higher the rank. Technique. Used link attack. 3,000. Inflicted status helmet, in 2,000. Attacked enemy's weakness, 1,000. Use skills, 1,000. Use normal attack, 100. Okay, so status ailments and link attacks are what gets you the most technique points. Pendant ce temps, à l'intérieur du Taranis, Anna suppliait le garçon mystérieux de les laisser partir. À l'exception d'Anna, tous les enfants étaient endormis, et aucun d'eux ne réagissait au son de sa voix. S'il te plaît. What reason do you have to keep us locked up in here? Hurry up and let us out. Huh. I'd say I have a pretty good reason. Each one of you is a precious resource. A shell for the soul cannon. Oh mon dieu. You're terrible. <laughs> You're welcome to try to run away. If you can, that is. Anna trembled de frustration. Anna trembled with mortification. Why am I reading that? Sorry, I'm taking a... I'm actually gonna... You know what? I should probably take a break soon, because it is almost three hours. And I want to take a break before I uh, do my next part here. Not like a stopping break, just... Uh, I'm gonna be, like, 
going to the bathroom and grabbing another drink. Anna et les autres enfants n'étaient pas retenus physiquement, mais une force mystérieuse semblait les priver de leur mouvement. Bien. Looks like you bunch will have to keep me company for just a while longer, at least until we reach our destination, Crusade Temple. Uh, okay. I'm just kind of flipped forward there. So safe fruit, we get an item in two battles. Up here it's three battles and better items but no health refill. But also my health is at max, so that's literally a blank spot for me. So we'll just do the top route. Actually, you know what? I'll probably just get to the end of this chapter and then take a break. Again. Throwing two easy waves before we get a challenge one, I bet. That's a new enemy. Dung, Dung Wesp. Battle helicopter with excellent attack and armor. It has low evasion ability given its large size, but be on guard since so we will use a skill to delay the action of a target. And then we got the basic bastard whom down there. It's got armor too. Damn it, did it select the wrong enemy? I think it did. Yeah, it did. Okay. Oh my god, the targeting doesn't automatically stick. Wish there was an option for that. Mode is ended. As not a dirty word. Hair <laughs> kit, energy cell, unknown trinkets. Cool. Want to upgrade the tank's armor, I want to upgrade the tank's reactor. I want to plant some fruit in the garden. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I want to be stronger. <laughs> Harvest results. Nice. One's still level four. No, everyone's pretty much level five. Kyle's the lowest though, so let's uh so let's swap him in, coach. Oh, dude. Sean got an intermission where it was nothing but them being hungry. Also, I noticed, um... Oh, wait, no, that's the observation room I'm thinking of. That's not, not this room. Can't Still can't go up. Yeah, we'll turn this on. 
listen to the first game's theme for a little bit, get nostalgic for 2021. I don't have, wow, I have like no ingredients, huh? Well, let's make carrot salad. <laughs> Cooking was highly successful. Material consumption have lessened. So that is different from the first game. The first game, it would just fail. You wouldn't lose the materials, but you would lose the AP. So you just have to waste more time trying it again. That's cool. At least that's different now. We cooked so good we ate less, yeah. Oh good, and that actually counts as fulfilling three... Uh, well, I guess it would, because it's all three people. I want to plant some fruit in the garden. I want to upgrade the tank's armor. Well, we could definitely do the fruit. Plant apples. We'll plant wheat as well. Also, the AP cost is lower. Why is that? Okay. A little frog there, too. Want to be stronger? What's that mean? I have no idea. Tanks armor and tanks reactor. Those are both things I was going to do this intermission anyway, so let's uh, do it to it. All I can think is leveling up, yeah. We should have enough for both. <laughs> Highly successful. Material consumption lessened. Okay. No, oh, you're right. It was just level up. So we completed it with everyone, even though there's really no point. <laughs> if someone's already in great condition, they're just going to be in great. That's cool, though. At least it gives you at least it gives you some incentive to do at least five of them per chapter, especially if they overlap, because then you get the bonus quicker. All right. Well, I got 12 AP left. Um. Again, they're saying vanilla is like the the yeah. character to bond up with, so... I'm preoccupied with the curiosity as to what others think of me. Hardworking, secretly nice, overly preoccupied. Hardworking. <laughs> Thank you. I'm pleased you feel that way. Weird to make leveling a task. Yeah, but leveling up during an intermission isn't that unusual. I guess. My years at the Ladies' Academy left me unpracticed in speaking with boys and men. Bonjour. Now tell me, does my manner of enunciation cause distress? Hey, are you sure you're really the president's daughter, born and raised in Parisia? Well, I never. Might I ask why you deem it fit to make such an ill-mannered inquiry of me? No. All I'm saying is, watching you fight out there, you don't exactly do it with much of a city girl flair. Mm. No children are prepared for combat like this, no matter what their upbringing is. I and mean, of what importance is flair in battle, anyway? You know really. what? Good point. You're sorry. You're right. Sorry for asking. <laughs> well, at least you know how to apologize. I'm supposed I could find it in myself to forgive you. <laughs> You're fine too. You're far too kind, milady. <sighs> you know, Kyle, I sense a certain Parisian air about you that Malt and the others lack. Ah, uh, well, I live out in Petite Mona with them all now, but I used to live in Parisia myself. <sighs> Did you now? What brought you to Petite Mona? Mm. Dad had business out that way. Rather not talk about that, though. Wouldn't want to ruin his reputation. Do an excuse. Right. Sorry for prying. I never meant to offend. Mm. Nah, you're fine. <laughs> Suppose I could find it in me to forgive you. <laughs> ah, how very kind of you. Link attack acquired. Who still needs a link attack with her? Sheena's almost done. Malt just started, and then Chick is the only other person right now. Super 
complete. Tending to animals far from my forte. Need some help? We'll take you off the shift then. They're all so cute though. Merci. Indeed, but they can be quite the troublemakers. <sighs> it was quite surprising to learn that Lieutenant Muscat had a sister like yourself. I can imagine why. My sister and I are far from alike and over a decade apart in age as well. We need not discuss it further if it's a topic if it's not a topic you enjoy. No. No, not at all. My apologies. I perhaps have a bit of an inferiority complex when it comes to her. I did not mean to respond so brusquely. I have a sister too. Back during the whole war, my whole family was captured and only I escaped. Malt and the others rescued me, but my family suffered so much in Burman captivity. I see. Do you find yourself unable to face her now because of this? No. Things returned to much to normal when we reunited. A fact I truly appreciate. She's back to being my lovely older sister. Ooh. I envy you then. <gasps> Vanilla. Wait. Wait. Bonjour. I ought to have brought spare outfits with me. That's my brother. He's playing Tears of the Kingdom. Come on, but you. Does this not. Does this tank not smell burnt? Of burnt something? Please? I hope we might all continue to be friends as we are now. We can be even better friends. We're from different worlds, of course. Merci. Thank you for saying so. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't get enough. Bonjour. I much prefer the mobility my current offers over that of any dress. We'll get the last uh, level one with her and Chick next time. I mean, we're going to get another intermission like as soon as the next chapter starts, so it won't be long. Stare. Huh? What? Do I have something on my face? Is my hair a mess? No. Your face is quite clear, and your hair is only mildly disheveled. Désolé. It's hard to manage sometimes. It just sticks up on its own. <laughs> <laughs> Are you truly the hero of the war people speak of? I find myself in somewhat disbelief now that I've met you myself. Mm. I never call myself a hero, but I did fight in the war. That much is true. Mm. Sorry if I don't live up to what you've imagined I'd be like, but what exactly were you expecting? I... I simply thought... Oui? I thought that despite your age, you would be a strong leader with the wisdom and valor becoming of a war hero. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> no, nor do I any longer. You proved to be an exceedingly normal boy. Mm. Can't deny that, I guess. Mm. We only made it through the war because everyone worked their paws to the bone. That and a hefty bit of good luck. Mm. Is that truly all? Mm. I imagine there's more to it, but what that entails, I wish to find out. I could do two more upgrades if I want. <laughs> Let's get some more SP too, because we're blowing through it pretty quickly. protect everyone even back then oh everyone has their own uh, unique quote with that I have always admired all of you even from that time It would be great if we could take another photo with everyone again. Hannah, too. Let's all take another photo, okay?
It was scary, but we had lots of good memories, too. We all look like heroes in this photo. Awesome! We, all, we already saw what Sheena said. I think that's it, too. I don't know what's up ahead, so let's do the uh, let's do the one each type thing here. Wait, they're both all right. There we go. Don't think there's much else we can do. Why does the workshop still have that over it? Oh, because I guess there's options I can choose, but I'm out of AP, so... finally caught up to them. I will avenge you, father. Mm. Calm down, Vanilla. You're getting a little carried away. Uh? I, I am calm. Just you wait. I'll make them pay. Uh. Hey, our friends are in that thing. Uh. Hack's right. The whole reason we've been chasing after the Tyrannus is to rescue our friends. Sorry. I don't want to fight anyone anymore, but if it's for them, I'll keep fighting. <laughs> no, I don't mean... I understand all that. It's just... Yeah. They say cooler heads prevail. Maybe you should wait until yours is cooled off. Les enfants réprimandèrent Vanilla, incapable de se contenir à l'idée de pouvoir venger son père. Thirst, this they chided her thirst for vengeance. Fille, Such a lust for revenge. Essaya de se calmer en parlant avec conviction. Metal Gear has been coming up a lot since that remake got announced. <laughs> no, I can fight. I'll fight beside you all. <laughs> for my father and for your friends. <laughs> a lot of fuss there. Effective combat range. Merde. Looks like the Tyrannus is ready for a fight, too. Honey, those better be all right in there, damn it. We're on, he's in the chamber. Looks like someone's on the gun turret, too. Damn it, someone thinks he's manipulating them again. I don't want to fight if it could be avoided. Boron, everyone. I'm sorry, but we gotta fight with all we have. We strike first. All allies attack first. New leader skill. Wait. All right, battle stations, everyone. You sure about this, Vanilla? Yeah, I'm not totally used to this all yet, but I'll give it my best shot. Bornch trapped in the chamber and socks in the gun turret. Reduce the chamber HP to zero to stop the Tyrannus. Attack that ignores the arm. The stronger the attack, the harder the arm, the stronger the attack. I don't see how much damage this does. Eh. Decent. It does. It does essentially a cannon damage. Smoke zone inflicts may inflict fear on all targets. Accuracy halved for three turns. Shit.
Five more turns. There's fear from all attackers and support allies. Well, that would help her, but she has to give up her turn to do it. Character she has, she doesn't have that with. <laughs> Fear is burst. Three hit crit attack with high critical hit rate on enemy. Good. <laughs> Boron, don't you recognize me? <clears throat> I have to think of something that'll get him to react. Answer me. We all miss you, Boron. It, Boron, keep fighting it. Ever soul cannon interruption. Successful awakening. The soul cannon is temporarily disabled. Just poke him through. That'll do the trick. Oh fuck. Are 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 to say. That might be good. Soothing song. Jumon the cube. Wow, you're useless, four eyes. It's time we load you into the soul cannon instead of your fat friend. <sighs> Wait, seriously? Oh, no. Uh. Sox was teleported from his gun turret to the soul cannon chamber. Born is now in Sox's former position, so watch out for changes in the attack patterns. Oh, great. Well, now we need red. I wasn't prepared for that. Just a 
Delayed. Countdown. Four more turns. Listen to me, Socks. Maybe I could get through if I mention his interests. Don't you want to check out our new tank? I won't ask you for you for anything ever again. <laughs> Choices are very easy. I I'm myself again. Uh, ah! Serbia. That's it. Shell festival, three hit attack. Ooh, that's damaging. Out of SP. But that was enough to take it out anyway. I don't know how they expect you to do that quicker. Cass. Arrogance shot. Attacking an enemy that ignores armor. Cool. The soul cannon. Mart. Can we do the same thing we did when rescuing May? Way. I'm on the bet we can. We just need to get close enough to activate teleportation before the soul cannon's fired. Excuse me. <laughs> Will this really work? <laughs> it has to. <laughs> we'll save them for sure. <laughs> I just hope we can make it in time. Alors qu'il s'apprêtait à utiliser le canon des âmes, le Taranis fut percuté violemment par le Tarascus. Are we getting a two four? Two four? Yes. Cool. Just two of them? What about the rest? Damn it. I wish we could save all of them right this minute, but if we can only save two in the moment, let's get them over here. Convenient plot device. À l'instant où commença le transfert, l'énergie accumulée dans le Taranis se dispersa dans un éclat. Les particules d'énergie dispersées dans l'air se faisaient absorber par le Taraspus. Les particules absorbées convergeaient petit à petit en deux amas lumineux de tailles différentes. Comme avec Mei, les deux masses de lumière changeaient progressivement de forme. Jusqu'à dessiner... Oh, sorry. The, the voice... Oui. The French voicing is significantly shorter than the lines are in English, so I keep thinking that the lines are done before they are... before they actually are. Boron, socks! Super. Thank goodness! Super. We did it! Uh. What just happened? Complètement revenus à leurs états d'origine, les deux garçons s'écroulèrent au sol, mais leur vie ne semblait pas en danger. The light turned into people. Boron, socks, are you okay? Ne t'en fais pas. Looks like they're just passed out. Thank goodness we got them out of there before the soul cannon fired. The Tyrannus still has plenty of other bullets left to fire at us. We're not out of the woods yet. Alors qu'ils s'apprêtaient à se réjouir d'avoir retrouvé leurs deux compagnons. Le Taranis commença à s'éloigner lentement. Oh. Look, the Tyrannis is escaping again. Réserve d'énergie actuelle extrêmement faible due au transfert. Déplacement à grande vitesse impossible. Tourelle utilisable, mais combat déconseillé dans la situation actuelle. Merde 
Sheesh, looks like it's getting away again. <laughs> For now, we could fight it again, just not when we're out of commission like this. À cet instant, à travers les haut-parleurs du Taranis, résonna la voix inconnue d'un jeune garçon. I don't have time to play around with you runts right now. Get in my way again and I'll make you regret it. Don't forget, I still got a few rounds left for the soul cannon. Huh? Who was that? It's me the creeps. We'll show that jerk not to mess with us. Pendant ce temps, deux vieillards observaient l'altercation entre les deux chars depuis leur cachette. Those are two villains from the first game. Two of them. That the old guy could barely see. Yeah. Are you seeing this stolen? Was Hax building that massive tank in secret all along? Sir If so, they must be allies come to aid us. We're saved! Mm. I always thought that Hax was just a young upstart. Who would have thought he'd end up making a tank that could repel even the hunk, that hunk of junk from Gasco? <laughs> Or that he'd be responsible for our rescue, no less. What a sight for sore eyes. Mm. Still, I wonder how they knew to look for us out here. Or how they even know we survived after fleeing for our lives. <laughs> Who cares about that? All I care about is that we're finally getting out of here. We. Oui. You could say that again. Hey, over this away. Hurry up and save us. Huh? Those two, aren't they Berman officers we faced before? <clears throat> Huh, and they're approaching as if they know us. Let's kick their asses. Wait. Yeah, let's figure out what to do later. Chapter 2 complete. Illustration by Adoya Inu 8. Inu Hachi. Game had chugged there a little bit. <sighs> Those airships sure are a sight to see, huh? <laughs> the recovery has moved along so quickly, it's hard to imagine the war was just a year ago. Way. <laughs> That's Gasco's spirit for you. People here are tough. <sighs> I only hope this peace lasts. <laughs> we need to make sure it does. New entry's been added to the library. Alright, before I continue on, I'm gonna take a quick break here. And, uh, end this part so that we don't have to upload, like, one eight-hour video. <laughs> So let me stop recording, and I will take a quick intermission here.